Uh huh. We live. We good. What I'm sounding like. What I'm sounding like. My necklace. What I'm sounding like. Do I sound okay? Do I? Am I coming through? Can you hear me on your audio device? I can't hear you. What did you say? What are you saying? Come on. I didn't even come to play. Yeah, and you got them playing. I'm about to tell your ass of what I've been up to. Probably came to your city. Yeah, a nigga just swung through for a night and it was tight. And your girl, she saw what she liked. Uh huh. I'm cool like Sprite that you drink at night. Like Nick, I take a shit on your girl, didn't grab her tit. That's nasty and that's sick. But that's the type of bullshit that I'm with. One more time, and I ain't lying. And I be spitting my rhymes off my mind. I should have wrote them down and took my time. But then, no, because I be lying. I don't feel like that no more, but this how I feel. Hey, right damn now. While I'm chilling in the motherfucking trap, smoking this black on the motherfucking couch. At your mama's house is where I live. I just like saying that shit. Because uh, every time you see me, I be cool as a bitch. Walking through your city with a pocket full of money looking good. And that's what I'm used to. You think I'm gonna get one bad bitch? Come on, I gotta have two or a few of the crew. Cause that's how I'm trying to come through. And some white and some red, but my shirt got the motherfucking blue. See, everything I say is true, even when I'm lying. And I be telling the truth. Hey, I spit the rhymes outside of the motherfucking, hey, and never go in the booth, bitch. Cooler than a finger wave <clears throat> on the side. That's your fiance, she'll never be your bride. One more time, talking my shit. Hey, and this just the intro. I want to welcome everybody back to the motherfucking 85 South Show. Hey, back in the trap. Ooh, and when we talk that shit, you can cut the bitch off right now if you want to. It don't matter, bitch. <laughs> yeah, what's up? That's what we've been up to. Y'all give me some fake claps, man. Yeah, act like you with the shit. You see me over here by my goddamn self. Didn't nobody want to come to work today. Nobody. Everybody tired. We've been working too hard. This is the act up summer. Man, the tour been crazy. And we went to Masher Tucket. We went to Mash and Tucket, bruh. You never thought you would go to fucking Mash and Tucket. How do you know as a man that the pussy is for you? Ooh, she look, look at her. Look at her. She said, yeah, she said, yeah. yeah. How do you know that the pussy that is for, not that it belongs, belongs to you? Because if you don't wake up and wash your pussy, it'll never be yours. It's always hers. It's always hers. How do you know she wants you to have it? You think that question is hard? I mean, she's gonna be yours. He think that's a he think that's a hard question for me. If you with your girl, if you with a woman, and y'all got to have sex, and she open her legs like this. And the pussy opens up by itself and make that little sound, that look. That's your pussy. Okay. When the pussy opens up by itself, okay. you ain't got to spray nothing. The pussy is already stopping like a little stupid boy with SpongeBob come on. Yeah, when the pussy got the little land from the pussy to the leg, it's swabbing. Yeah, that's okay. you. That's all you. Okay. That's okay. all you. Okay. And perform at a casino? Come on, man. All up in Connecticut. Where else we been? All up through Charlotte. St. Cloud. Oh, fuck St. Cloud. <laughs> fuck St. Cloud. That's probably the worst place I ever been in my life. If the government is watching this shit, shut down St. Cloud, Minnesota. It's a fucking scam. Fuck them. I almost went to jail fucking with them people. <laughs> that shit ain't funny, Greg. Fuck you. The motherfuckers had me fucked up in St. Cloud. Just going to stop the plane and be like, get off, figure it out. Hit the lift. That bitch say 45 minutes away. How the fuck the lift 45 minutes away? Then it was raining like a motherfucker. I got places to be. Trying to get to Minnesota. Mm. Speaking of Minnesota, that is probably one of the lavish places that we've been on this tour, right? Like, we get love everywhere. We get a lot of love. But Minnesota, that love was different. Oh, 
Minnesota. 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 I'm up in this bitch and I be chilling. In Minnesota, cities in the field. Hey, I say I'm up in this bitch and I be chilling. What you say? I'm in Minnesota, cities in the field. Hey, I say Minnesota, cities in the field. Hey, we got a Minnesota dripping in the field. Hey, that was that. They missed you like you just got out of jail. Type love, like, like. Like cousin that you ain't seen since you was little type love. That was love, love. Minnesota showed us love, love. Detroit. Detroit was some real player shit. Who got on some white buffs in this motherfucker? Who? They ain't gonna make no noise. The Robins yeah, are there too. We where? Where? Look at my man got the white buffs on right there. Yeah. You got to be a gangster. Got the Cartier's on, shout it. Ah, you ugly fuck. Ugly ass, man. <laughs> With the glasses. I nigga thought he was killing shit. Well, all right. Camilla. Drive by in the 70s. Let them jive turkeys go right there, DC. What you want to do to that? Stop the car. Stop the car. Stop the car. Stop the car, Stop the car Jack. DC. <laughs> hey, hey, DC. DC. <laughs> That nigga look just like Michael Jackson in the Wizard of Oz. Hold up, hold up. Leave him alone. I believe them niggas in witness protection or some shit. It got to be. What else? We been there. Where else, man? I'm trying to think of all these places. Columbus. Columbus, Georgia. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. See? Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Dallas was crazy. Y'all. Y'all don't even realize what happened in Dallas. You know who came to the show? Man, who came to the show? Somebody tell me. Joe, you know? I don't know. Who came to the show? It's a blur. Clax, who came to the show? Prime time, bro. Prime time. You know Prime hit me? He hit me the other day. Guess what he talking about? Wheelchair man. <laughs> Los, don't hit that boy. You tripping. Carlos, Carlos. Carlos, don't, don't do that. No. Don't do that. I'm not smoke it. I had to get it off the streets. Okay. <laughs> don't hit that wheelchair, man. You hit that wheelchair, man. Your shit going to... Uh. Shit. Boy, you hit that wheelchair, man. Your upper body going to be strong than a motherfucker. Who the fuck oh, rolled the blunt? Who rolled it, wheelchair, Who man? Who rolled that shit for you, wheelchair, man? He like, he bro. This nigga done rolled the blunt. You a real nigga. Hey, he like hey. getting back. He ain't bullshit. Wheelchair man, you better stop. <laughs> you better stop rolling the blunt. That nigga come and get that weed, but I'll get back. <laughs> this nigga standing up. Oh! My nigga wheelchair man in the building. Oh, oh. Bro, wheelchair man done blew up on y'all niggas this summer. You know he done blew up. He got a beef with little Duval. What? Yeah, he pulled, look, he pulled up on Duval. Left a threatening message. <laughs> Duval posted him on the ground. Man. Man, that shit fucked me up so bad when wheelchair man jumped out that goddamn chair. I would have paid cash money to see him rolling them blunts. Cash. <laughs> Cash. Uh. Jumping out in the crowd. You don't never know what the fuck gonna be out there. You never know. And I know it's a few shows we didn't make it to a certain size and they still hitting me about that. It's not personal. Shit just be happening. You go with the flow. You forget to go to the other side sometimes. These things happen. These things happen. Shout out to Orlando, the Disneyland show. We up in the Walt Disney Theater and shit with it. You feel me? That type of shit. Two and three shows sold out. Much love to everywhere we went that sold out, that showed us much love. I'm, I'm not done naming cities, so don't get mad. I'm, we just thinking of them as we smoke weed and shit. Cincinnati. 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 Tampa. Man, the whole state of Florida showing love. All up in Alabama and shit. Huntsville. All that. Man, don't even talk about the bean town unless you're going to flick somebody's bean. 
<laughs> yeah, Boston was much love, man. The whole tour has been crazy. Y'all ready for the second half? Man, the second half is going to be even crazier, bro. You know what? We can't. I'm still naming cities because y'all forgot about a dope ass city. San Antonio. She's confident. Come on, man. Yeah, that's right. She tucked her stomach down in her tights because she don't give a damn. Man, don't you start. That shit is so dope, bro. <laughs> don't you start. <laughs> bro, how about Cut Zoo? This nigga never stops playing. He never stops. People in the back be trying to direct, bro, cut the music off, bro. <laughs> they talking, bro. <laughs> bro. They talking, bro. <laughs> L.A. How y'all gonna forget about the crazy crip nigga? Oh, yeah. Y'all don't never, don't never forget about the crazy crip nigga, man. He cripping at the comedy show. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck is going on in these streets, man? Nigga didn't feel like laughing. A lot of crazy shit been happening. Shout out to all the women that sexually harassed us at the meet and greets. One lady grabbed Chico dick from the back under. Like she clearly tried to make him her bitch. Don't no man ever want his dick grabbed from that position. From behind and under the ass. Man, that is, that is sexual harassment. And my guy's sensitive balls. That had to hurt. Because she hit them balls first. I get more vulnerable than that, bro. It don't. Yeah. The crazy part is her nigga was standing right there. It's like they playing this shit or something. Much love to all the ladies on the tour who've been yelling out that they love us. We love each and every one of y'all back individually. You get your own love. This is not a universal to the group. This is broken down like... <laughs> Everybody got a specific amount, and it's the same amount. I can't say that I'm in love with you because I don't get to see you like you get to see me. And I know that sometimes when you see the wrong ones and you tell the ugly bitch you love her back, that, that offends fine women. But like, if that's the bitch you like, so the, I want everybody to get their own individual love and shit like that. Been a lot of fine ladies coming to our shows just walking around acting like they better than us. I don't get it. I don't understand that at all. But I appreciate them coming. <laughs> Much love to all the niggas who bring their lady to the show, bro. Niggas be at the meet and greet. Hey man, don't hug my lady. Bro, trust me, I don't want her because she with you. What the fuck I look like taking your lady? She gonna go from a nigga who got stress and problems to a nigga like me. She gonna be fucking with you and then I come, man, I'm not, nah. I don't even like her cause she like you. Seeing her fuck with you is what turned me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, is, is that too real? <laughs> you think I'm gonna see a bitch and look at it and be like, oh, she need to be with me. <laughs> no, like, that's what she doing? I don't know what the fuck they got going on. This is not 1980. You remember the 80s when niggas wanted to steal your girlfriend? Man, that is the last thing you got to worry about. On, Somebody's stealing your girlfriend. The fuck I'm going to do with it? <laughs> I can't. Y'all live here. I'm visiting. Uh -uh. You, I shouldn't be able to come to your city and ruin your relationship in four hours. That means your shit was unstable when I got there. Hello? Church? <laughs> Message? Come on, somebody. Message? Mm. What else? Much love to all the caterers that's been feeding us. Keeping us full and shit. All the barbers. All the people who've been giving us shirts and snacks and shit. Mm. Bro, this shit feel like we part of the civil rights movement. No, Bro, you pull up on niggas, niggas make sure you got a haircut. We, uh, food, rides. We, we are really, let me hit the weed. Cause they're going to be like, Nick, put that motherfucking black out. Y'all don't let me do nothing I want to do on this goddamn show. And y'all stop telling us what shows to upload to. Y'all don't run shit over here. As I look around and the work is being done, I don't see not now one of y'all. So in the meantime, shut your ass up. <laughs> what a weed at? Let me hit the dope. Out here talking all that shit. Hey man, hey man, where the goddamn, where the Montgomery show at? 
Well, actually, it's Mobile, but I'm tired of explaining this. I've been saying this shit for a minute. The Montgomery show was on a hard drive that Joe had that he's having trouble recovering the footage from. I don't. J O N was supposed to be on the. This is a true story. J O N is supposed to be recovering the footage, but he has yet to do so. Now, J O N, can you confirm this story? I can confirm that story. I do have the drive in my possession. And he did recover some of the Mobile show. I have recovered none of the Mobile show. <laughs> I thought you read some of it. But but this week, as soon as tomorrow, we're going to get a drive and we'll work on that and knock it out. Right? Now that we see, now you're saying tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So even when they see this <laughs> at any point in time, mm -hmm. whether it's next year, they still going to be like, J-O-N a lying motherfucker because he ain't never. All I'm saying is. <laughs> <coughs> We don't record these shows and go back to the lab and be like, you know what? Fuck these people. We're not posting that. We, that has never happened. The only time some shit didn't get uploaded was because of technical difficulties. <laughs> and I've seen Joe go to the extremes to have these shows delivered. On Friday, one time he sat in Starbucks for six hours while this <laughs> shit uploaded. I don't know if he was coffee drunk or what. But whether we're in the city or on the road, you can look forward to 85 South Show every Friday. And we know that our demand has gone up and you are, you are requesting slash demanding more content per week. But you have to understand, baby, we independent over here. You think this shit just be this good when we record? Joe works very hard. And Craig also, and Jay Win and the staff. Is working very hard to keep you entertained each and every Friday. Now, we do have some things in the vault that we could release, but you guys have to be patient. I noticed that as the demand grows and the fan base grows, you motherfuckers are talking to us crazy. <laughs> like, y'all just think y'all can say whatever the fuck y'all want to say to us. Wow. Y'all just know that we working over here. And there's a lot of opportunities that they about to, you know, they're going to bless us with it in the future because we deserve some opportunities. <laughs> yes, we're entitled to some opportunities. You know why? Because we work our ass off. On, Let me be entitled once or twice. Mm. Shit. Play me some elevator music too to go <laughs> into this. There's really no theme of this episode tonight. It's really, this is really just a wrap up and a catch up to let you know that we hear you. We read those comments. We see what you're saying. And we appreciate the 85 percenters for hitting these goofies with the facts. Every time somebody say some shit, they be like, nope, check the, check the files. Go back to the Fur Memphis show. I see y'all. And much love to all the people who, who say the 85 South show is helping you through the tough times, mm. the ups and the downs, mainly the downs. Because, you know, when you're having your ups, everything works good. But when you're going through your downs and you find some shit you can lean on that can help you get through them downs, that's some real shit. Mm -hmm. So basically, this show should be available at CVS and Walgreens because it's medicine. It's deeper than jokes. It's deeper than jokes. You don't understand the type of stories that people... You do understand because you're right there and you hear them. I was speaking to the, to the, you know, the people who are watching this. But I'm talking about people who have lost people. People who have been diagnosed with things. People who have overcome things. People who are real life trying to figure out how to balance their mental health. The medicine ain't working. The alone time ain't working. The family, the this is the thing that's helping them get through the downs. You know what I'm saying? On top of dealing with life. That's crazy. No, it's not. Because I don't want to be dismissive. That's amazing. That's the, that's the better choice of words. Because it's so easy to not like some shit. You could have easily not liked the shit. And it don't matter what you do for these fans, they always, they always complaining. You never can do enough. When we were, they were like, man, go back to doing stand up. Go back to the trap. Drop some more episodes. Like, bro, I just don't understand how you gonna tell me how to do what the fuck I created. How? I'm the one who told you you like this. 
Did you did you forget that part? Ask somebody. Who the one was like, nah, go. Come on now. That's how you talk to the CEO? Like the janitor? You supposed to treat the janitor like you treat me, not the other way around. Come on now. I'm the chief executive officer. I said that because I know a lot of y'all don't even know what the CEO stands for. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't made no financial investments. How you gonna tell me how to run my business? Are you, I, didn't, I don't remember taking on any partners. Do you remember taking on some partners, Greg? Joe, did you cut a side deal with G-Money? <laughs> These must be claxing them man then. You the one bringing in new motherfuckers? Nope. Wow. Nobody told me shit. Nobody told me shit. Nobody, nobody told me shit. <laughs> Make sure you hit the website. Because we did launch 85 Apparel. We haven't done the, the, the formal official launch, but we do have items available. We still have the traditional and the classics available. We're just expanding over here, people. We expanded. You know, 85 Media, 85 Apparel. We're about to open up a old folks' home. <laughs> We've been talking to some people. That's funky, huh? That's a great, <clears throat> that's a great little segue right there. That's enough of my spiel. I'll do another one later. But in the meantime, Joe, I want to bring in somebody who's very near and dear to the 85 South Show. You, are, you know him and you love him. You've seen him on various episodes. He killing the game right now just by doing this shit in his free time. And he had to do shit else. That's how fucking good he is. Now, where you at, man? Come in here, man. Come in here. Get mic'd up. I ain't mean to left hand you, but y'all know I, I got the roach. I got the roach. I ain't want the ashes to fall. My pants is white. No, nigga, get the microphone. Tell the nigga Mike you up. He gonna, you know, we got the staff over here, man. I had to find out the hard way. No, nah, man. We, Chad told me the produ our production manager would reach out to you. I said, talk shit. <laughs> that shit felt good to him, man. You know, gotta have a production manager. What's a production without a production, without a shift leader? Oh, man. Huh? Shit. You see it? Look at that footwork. A lot of people been asking me about the footwork, and I'm going to tell you. I think these, what, I don't know what they call, but we just call them Chris Webbers. These are the Chris Webbers. You remember Chris Webber? Yeah, these are them Chris Webbers. Sacramento King. Nah, he, he wasn't the Sacramento first. In the, in the bullets, Golden bro. State? Uh, Golden State Jones. How, yeah. how many teams he played for? A lot of them. Damn. Low key, too. Yeah, Chris Webber. He was with the Warriors first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris Webber. I do Webber. remember that. He was the first one to get that big contract. Yeah, he got that money. He got that money. And things of that nature. What you been up to, pimp? Man, just, just low-key chilling. For real? Yeah. Man, you got to go out on the road and hit some of them shows, man. What you think? Man, I'm, I'm definitely down. I already been telling niggas we on tour anyway, so it is just, I don't know if I, <laughs> I, I don't smoke this shit into existence. I, I did one show with you and I said, yeah, you know, I, I toured with Carlo, yeah. Yeah. Cause they asked about you. It was two shows. <laughs> Well, shit. Come on now, don't, don't 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 make it like it was one. It was it, two. But it was one show with you, and then one show with eighty five South show. So yeah. I toured with both. You, I already said I. We on with tour, both. just like you said. <laughs> we on tour. You know what? What's understood ain't got to be explained. But you still got to explain. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you still you know. It goes without saying, but we still gonna say it though. It's all that yeah, shit. Yeah. What's going on with you, Lo? Not that you gonna tell me the whole spiel. I'll tell just you the whole give, spiel. Yeah, just give me a little gist. Hey man. I'm living my life like it's golden. I wake up every day <laughs> and I, I just listen to the I listen to Birdman. Just to get inspired, man. 
Come on, the rap. Uh, Not his music, but oh. the shit he be talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I used to eat now and laters, man. Now a nigga eating alligators, man. Ooh. Come on, man. Inspirational with This is the inspirational shit. He used to just say shit that just stuck with me. And it wasn't about the rap, man. That nigga was a fucking, he psychic. Yeah. He was saying way back then, I feel when 2000 come, it's gonna be all about Wayne. He spoke that shit into existence. Man, that's one of my, that's, people ask me all the time who are some of my biggest influences, nigga. Bird I can man sit one. here and quote Birdman. Like I know damn near everything this nigga ever done said, bro. You know like, why I fuck even with the Bird stupid Man, shit. Though? Hold on, cause he say shit like this. What he say? <laughs> this nigga said, "Why my little BGs on the bus putting out cigarette butts? <laughs> that ain't have shit to do with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> like Birdman could have had niggas writing for him. He didn't want that. He wanted to get his perspective. That nigga told about a cookout. You remember when he said forty-five paper plates?" Nigga, how many people was at the cookout? Who, how he petty and he count the paper plates? Hey, like, you never seen paper plates come into 45. It's Bruh. either 50, 20, or 100. Not when you bird, man, because this ain't just regular paper plate, boy. Oh. It's made out of money. You heard? Think about that. I like the way that nigga talk, because he sound like he always about to crack. And you know, Wayne came out yesterday and I was just talking to Lil Weezy. I was like, Weezy, you gotta keep doing your thing, you hear me? He just be sounding like he on the verge of tears. Like like, like he sincere with it. Yeah. So so you you fuck with that him and Wayne back rolling. Yeah, yeah. I fucks with that. Yeah. I love Cash Money Records, bro. Cause when Cash Money Records took over for the 99 in the 2000, I was already off the porch. I was all the way in them streets. You feel me? Yeah. I was the nigga who was out there buying them Soldier Reeboks two for eighty nine dollars. A black pair and a white pair. Gotta have both pair. Nigga, Jabot with the motherfucking S colored straps. straps. Oh my god. Nigga, the shorts too. Nah, I ain't had a short. Shit. I ain't had a short. Come on, man. I had a Jabot plug way back in the day. They ain't even sell Jabos in Mississippi, bro. See, you know. Guess I was, who had them? You. Come on. I was short, Los. So my goddamn pants were all over my shoulders. You ain't no boat? Well, well <coughs> the pants come different now. Man. You know, we were sagging and all that shit then. Yeah, man. These so, young niggas will let you have it. That's why my shit's so tight now. Yeah, oh, you man. You can't be out here with big pants. They'll roast your ass. <laughs> Quick. Man, take them big ass pants <laughs> off. Big pants, little leg went. These niggas have on straight leggings. For real. Nigga, hold And these niggas still be having the strap on them. They do. These niggas I seen the nigga had to jump, 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 to pull his strap out to pull it out on the nigga. <laughs> well, I said, you gotta do all that to shoot a nigga, man. If a nigga did this before he shot me, I deserve to get shot. The nigga was jumping up, low, like wiggling in the motherfucker out of there. Damn. And he finally got it out. Hey, man. You should have had plenty of time to get the fuck out of there. Man. I had to stay and watch. I was like, I, he couldn't have had a pistol in them, in them jeans. I don't want to be nowhere where some niggas got some pistols at. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to be around that type of shit. I don't want to be nowhere no niggas got no pistols. I'm leaving. If I even think a nigga got a pistol, I'm gone. Man, well, you see these young niggas, that's all they- That's why I try not to be- I try not to be nowhere no young niggas are. Because one thing I know, they do have pistols, and they not practicing their aim. <laughs> We're going to shoot every goddamn body except the nigga they mad at. And they brag about keeping one in the head. I don't like them because these niggas are too comfortable with shit I'm uncomfortable with. You hear how they, the rap songs they got? The young nigga said he jumped out the car with two dicks on him. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got two dicks on me. Whoa. We well, get them dicks off that young man. Yeah. The other nigga said he had to dick with the nuts on it. I just turned that shit off. You think this this shit part of the Me Too movement and shit? <laughs> it got to be. Man, turn the music off. This is serious business. Hey, fellas. Grown men. You remember when you was 20, you could fuck all night? Yeah. You remember that shit? Mm -hmm. A lot of men can't fuck all night no more. If you want to go back to the days where you can fuck all night, 
I know the people at BlueChew.com, and they have given me a promo code so me and my partners can goddamn go get the Blue Chew pills and fuck these women all night long because that's what they want these days. Really? Go to BlueChew.com and use the code 85 South Show and get you a discount on your chewable BlueChew.com pills because they good and they get make your meat get hard harder. <laughs> Not saying that nobody's lacking in that department. But I'm saying, if you want to hit her with the rock, hit her with the motherfucking rock. Man. Go to BlueChew.com. Hey. Use the promo code 85 South. Now, I'm not saying that this is FDA approved or nothing, but you experiment with shit all the time. Why wouldn't you want to experiment with BlueChew.com? If you out of luck and you having problems getting it up, uh, here's what you need to do. Blue Chew. Blue. Chew.com, go get you some, said BlueChew.com, and go get you some, you can make love to your lady, come on y'all, for a long, long time, and hit her with that wood, I swear to God I ain't lying, it's a sexual stimulant, it make your meat get hard, it's a sexual stimulant, it make your meat get hard. (laughs) It got to be. Uh, the nigga, the, what steered me wrong, I had to listen to the nigga when he was like, he pull up with the stick and let it hit. Man. Like, bro, you, hey, just kill me, nigga. Don't be telling niggas you pulled up with a stick and let shit hit on me. Hey, man, you don't uh, want to get shot by a nigga who got the dick with the nuts on him. Hey, man. Anyway. Like, how you ask a nigga to borrow it, though? Pay me the dick. Yeah, I got some beef, bro. I gotta come pick the dick up. <laughs> but you gotta let me hold that dick today. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, nigga. Come pick it up, Playboy. Put the nuts on that motherfucker, too, man. <laughs> That's fucking strange. I need, I need the long nuts with the big dick. <laughs> Hey man, stop saying that. I'm stop saying, saying that. Cause now they fucked you up the last time, bro. When uh, you said you knew a fake pussy taste hey. like. <laughs> I still ain't forgave you for that shit. That nigga said he knew what fake pussy tastes like. No. Nah, yeah, you did. And then they kept replaying it in slow motion. Nah, see, that what? <laughs> Joe oh, be quick said. to say he fucked with me. I don't never see Joe edit shit. But I said, no, nah, he came back and showed when I said this shit. Like, I'm like, this nigga don't put words uh, in his fucking mouth because I know nah, I said you that. said this shit. No, nah, y'all, bro, y'all, got a, y'all got a big budget over here. Y'all don't start putting, <laughs> y'all don't start putting shit where niggas can sound like me. Oh, shit. We put got me in the commercial. Yeah, doing the voiceover and putting me in a commercial. <laughs> that's the B. <beat. laughs> Nigga, I'm a, I'm a mental health superhero now. Like, niggas see me in the store, they be like, you do it for all of us. I'm like, no, nigga. That was Los and Joe. I wasn't doing it for nobody. I was just sitting there. Hey, man. Bruh. Oh, man. Bruh. Wow. Joe did catch you sitting there looking dumb as hell, boy. Oh. Bruh. It, like, it was like you was talking to me. Like, I was a part. Like, you, y'all you done sponsored me. You just sitting there like, wow. Bro, but I wasn't even there, Los, and you know it. <laughs> That's why I'm so fucked up, man. Hey, you a lying to his nigga, man, on some real shit. So when you did that commercial, I was there. Yes, like, nigga. <laughs> he was sitting right there. <laughs> and I look, I was looking like that while you was talking. Yeah, you was looking at me reading this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Man. This, t- this fucking, the internet is a strange place, bro. Nah, it ain't the internet, it's y'all. Like, nah, it's you, my nigga. It, it, it ain't, it ain't they, no. just, they don't forgive you when you fuck up. All right. You still ain't told us how you know what fake pussy tastes like. No. It's still to this day. And, and look, I feel like if I try to explain now, y'all going to twist the shit up and put it with the old shit and combine it. But this was my thing is, I said, I said, <laughs> You know what? Fuck it, man. Cause, Cause right now it's like niggas just got their own inside hey jokes. Hey man, get this weed. Cause I'm gonna die laughing if I keep trying to smoke. 
Oh, you done drop ashes on this <laughs> nigga. No, no, no. no. <laughs> this is what I came to do. Just get embarrassed in this motherfucker. Hey, man. Nigga I already said, hey, Los really don't fuck with you. He never passed you the blood. I said, I don't smoke. <laughs> hey, man, you got to stop feeding into all this negativity uh. in the comment section, bro. No, you a nigga are. told me that at the mall. Oh. <laughs> he was like, bro, when the 85 South Show come to Atlanta? I was like, I don't know. I think they doing, they going to end the tour in Atlanta. He was like, that was up. I be seeing you on that. He was like, bro, Lowe's don't fuck with you. He never passed you the blunt. I was like, I don't, I don't smoke. <laughs> hey, and he man. Said, yeah, that they fuck, very bro. critical of everything I they do. They notice everything. Everything. Man. Hey, man. We was at one show, and this girl, we was taking some questions from the RZ girl. I said, Carlos, can you help me pay for school? I said, hell no, I ain't tell your ass to go to school. <laughs> and the crowd was like, oh. I was like, damn. Is that so it? they didn't see the brilliance in that. They stupid damn. sometimes. Is that, was that the right kind of question to ask, though? Mm -hmm. Who, why the fuck would I pay for your school? Yeah. And like, if she go on to be successful, she probably never would think Carlos helped me with but this. But who the fuck? But I'm saying. You want me to pay all thousands of dollars for somebody I never met in my life. You ain't trying to give me no pussy or nothing. It just do something for me. You ain't even trying to negotiate. And what it's if just, she don't even graduate? What are you bargaining with? What if she don't even fucking graduate? Oh my God. The least she could do is offer me some pussy. Yeah. That comes first. Till she graduate. Yeah. I gotta pay for the whole school. You ain't ask your mama. Your daddy. Los, you don't know. It's so much you don't know. What school are you at? I don't know what it's You might be is. paying for some tech college or some shit. Some, not to shit on nobody. But I, you bro, know, every day. You I don't know. You might be paying for a trade school. Every day I get on social media, somebody's asking me to pay their bills. Pay their rent. Pay their school. Who, who the fuck am I to be paying bills for these people? I hate when they start off with... I know you might not see this. That mean you ain't got to reply. And I don't mm. go see it. You can see it. Yeah. You can read it, but you don't have to reply. Yeah. I know you might not see this. Good. Nope. That, I love how you gave me an excuse <laughs> before I you read this shit. You gave up for you for yeah. you send this long ass message. We better stop before they figure out how to get this money from us. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and give them the secret. You can't. You can't. I'm not about to get in the way of what God got for you. If you're going through your struggle right now, it's a blessing right around the corner. Who am I to jump in the way of your blessing? Right. Your blessing might be to get put out so God can let you buy this house. And see who really fucked with I you. I help you pay this rent. You're going to be stuck in the same spot. And what they say about getting comfortable. You can't. You can't. That's what kills your creativity. You can't complacent. You ain't never, when you when you was up on rent, you ain't hit me to come over there and kick it. Mm. You ain't never invited me through. Never you just want to hit me when shit bad. Don't wait till shit get bad to try to ask me for some shit. Because mm. you been up. How long you been staying there? The, la the first nine months of your lease, you ain't missed a payment. Yeah. Now you three months behind. I get the, you Now you hitting me? You ain't showed me no pictures of the living room. Your page private. I don't know what the fuck you look like. <laughs> He ain't let me see the kids or nothing. Me and my kids about to get put out. Send me them kids <laughs> there. Let me see them. You don't know how many rooms. I don't about. know how many, how many how bedrooms. Many bathrooms. Well, what's your plan if I don't come through? You going to stay with your grandma and stuff? Is it a walk-in Do Dude, you got somewhere you can go if, if I don't come through. Like, don't leave me in mystery like this. Because now I'm concerned a little bit, but not enough to send no money. Right. And then the cash app be some ridiculous shit. Motherfucker sit there and ask you to pay their whole rent. Hey, my cash app is stacks on deck. Honey money. No. <laughs> <laughs> Click on their page. These niggas wearing Gucci in there. I'm not paying. I'm just flat out telling you. I don't care what you think about me oh. after this. I, it's got to be sick of this shit is aggravating. Why they always need the whole thing? Why they always <laughs> asking me? I think people be watching this show and they figure out what be aggravating me and then oh, they, and do, they it do it on it, purpose. Because yeah. I know Chico and them don't be on social media like that. So they be hitting me be like, hey, hey bro, you going live? Hey, bro, tell DC. What, what make a grown man think I'm going to go tell another grown man <laughs> some shit that they said? <laughs> hey, now, it's a nigga that you don't know right now in a city that I went to that told me to tell you some shit. I don't remember what the fuck it was. But 
I felt like I needed to tell you because he asked me to tell you. And it's happened more than one time. It's people telling me to tell you shit that I can't remember. So just know that. And why would you remember? Because these, I don't know. I don't know. And like then that shit like, gonna be on your mind. Right, and then it's like, I kind of believe all of them like on the same level of slow, because they always be some shit like, hey bro, tell DC he ugly hell, bro. <laughs> Who is this message coming from? Am I supposed to come back and be like, you the dude told me tell? <laughs> so, did, bro, he said you ugly hell too. But look, didn't tell him that shit. So now I'm just relaying messages. Back and forth. Oh my God. And what if you tell DC, now DC, well, how do he look? Bruh. So DC could tell you something to say about him. I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this shit. That's tough. Bro, people are so goddamn weird, man. They will run up on you screaming and ah, ah, If you don't shut your ass up, Straight up before they think somebody over here doing something to you. Right. Goddamn, times have changed. I don't know what Carlos Miller did to that lady. She just started screaming. And yeah, we took a picture on an Android. I don't know what all the fucking hoopla was about. One thing about it, Los, I know you're going to miss all of allegation seasons. Man, you, don't, you don't get caught up in that bullshit. I ain't touching shit. Yeah. Quick touch can we shit. take a picture? Yeah, we can come over here where somebody can see us at. <laughs> Bruh, I, I don't, nigga asked me to take a picture in the bathroom. I Whoa. said, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you, though? <laughs> What the caption was gonna be? Nigga. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! I've been kidnapped. Better pissed off than pissed on. <laughs> Literally. Literally, bro. As I'm pissing, this nigga standing. Bro, I watch. Man, shut your ass up. <laughs> shut your ass up. Uh, nigga just said, wait. Take the pick. Mm, mm, mm. Man, it's, it's crazy out here on this road. People would just see you doing regular shit and be like, nigga, what the fuck you doing? What you mean, eating? <laughs> you mean eating? I'm standing in line to get some food. That, that's strange to you? <laughs> Niggas really be like, they shocked. This nigga out here eating. They, they just think all you do this is This nigga show. hungry, bro. This nigga hungry. Hungry, <laughs> nigga. They ain't getting no money. This nigga hungry. <laughs> you right. I love it. I love being broke. It's so relaxing. Just sit there and wonder when the money's gonna show up. <laughs> Please give me some opportunities. Please. I'm doing so bad. I need money. I don't know what I'm going to do. Your boyfriend will drop an album. Man, I'm like, I know. I know oh, you're excited. No, Drew. Ooh, that's Who you thought I was talking about? I don't oh. know. I, Cause you be on bullshit. Oh no! Nah, I, I, I thought you about to say some one of them young niggas <laughs> who got the dick with the nuts on them. <laughs> nah, I know you. Nah, cause you know you'll throw you'll throw a bullshit home to me in a minute. <laughs> no, you ain't. Re you really the worst person to me. <laughs> that's why I hit you to nah. do this. You really a terrible motherfucker. Nah, but drove from the drop. Yeah, I am legend too. Yeah. Uh, you know I already heard that shit. You know I made him send me that already, man. You going, know I made it. It's going some. crazy. Well, come on. Dang. Look, man. Look. The chain real. The microphone fake. <laughs> <laughs> man. In other news, Antonio Brown. This nigga being a nigga, nigga. Man. That made you want to play some music? <laughs> that's, that's the code to make the music come on. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> Not even that, but when he started talking about what Shannon Sharp done did, you talking about other nigga shit in the past. Hey, man. Draft snitch? Yeah. That's he, what you do when you yeah, get in trouble? Hey, man. Well, I'm like, what's up? Whoa. He was just calling niggas out on it. He called out uh, the Robert Crabb, uh, the owner of the team that just cut him. Man, somebody said the funniest shit on social media. The motherfucker said Antonio Brown rubbed Robert Kraft the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, this dude been showing his ass. That's his business though. Yeah. Bro. You know. You know when I knew it was all like games for him? What? When the nigga got released and said, go check out his YouTube. Like, he done switched the whole market. Like, he on some shit, like. 
Bro, I don't even understand the NFL no more. Jay-Z is doing something and all the niggas got mad at Jay-Z. I never thought I would see the day that niggas was upset with Hov. I think just because they don't understand him. Like, niggas, niggas are getting weird nowadays. If niggas don't understand another nigga, they get mad. It's fast. And it, it's, it's crazy. Like, niggas are acting like females. But they not acting. Well, they really yeah. are. They really are. I just don't, I don't understand people who are like avid sports fans. Can you imagine watching some shit that you ain't got nothing to do with and be mad at the outcome? Like, I know people who be for real mad and be assholes because they team lost. <laughs> well, nigga, you ain't been to practice or nothing. Los, I, I kind of could feel for that because I gamble. I can't. I, I, I gamble, so that could, that could fuck up my whole Sunday. Stop gambling. It, it's easy to say. Bro, you don't know what the fuck these people got going on. And Los, it, it's something simple because you don't like you don't care about sport. It I can don't. be a point spread. Nick. The team getting blowed out. The, these motherfuckers will go school and fuck up the whole point spread. Bro. Now my whole fucking Sunday and week fucked up. Odell Beckham play football with a two million dollar watch on. The nigga who tackled him is making three thousand dollars <laughs> a game. That's good. The minimum contract for five. Th I don't know what I'm just saying. Hypothetical. Man, if I was one one of them niggas about to tackle I, on the way down, I'm uh hooking all that goddamn shit. That goddamn watch. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn watch. <laughs> What the fuck? What if a nigga run to the sideline? What the fuck? What the fuck you thought this was? So do the referee throw a flag like it? Personal foul? <laughs> nigga, I am still it. That's 15 yards. You goddamn right it is. Give nigga. me a note. So like, with him having to watch, do he sometimes challenge the play clock? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why he throwing his hand up? I don't know. That been 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the fuck you need to know what time it is, nigga. And you playing football. Shit, the game started at 7. You know you been out here two hours. Right. Whatever. I ain't hate. I ain't the type of nigga that be pocket watching another motherfucker. I don't give a fuck how much your watch costs. But you just showing me that these niggas don't care as much as I care about the game. So right. why I gamble on them? Exactly. That didn't make sense. That's what shit. about college, though? Them niggas got class in the morning. You think they give a <laughs> fuck? That school done told them they can't get no money. They ain't ate. They might ate five chicken tenders before that game, and that's what you put your money on? Niggas ate five guys before the game and shit. No, you, school sponsored meals. You really know how to put it in These niggas not even going to graduate. Well, a nigga feel less and less like that. Nigga, you right. 28 college games come on every Saturday morning. Four of them niggas going to be good in the NFL. Only four. Damn. Four. And I'm betting with these niggas. The rest of these niggas going to be delivering Coca-Cola, selling used cars. What? Trying to be a personal trainer. Hey man, or a pee coach. I, I got picked up. To do what? Practice. Nigga, you, you a pro. All right. I'm not shitting on nobody's dreams. There's nothing wrong with being on the practice squad. I'm just saying. You can only do that. Nigga, if a good career lasts five years, how long can you be on the practice squad? Three, four practices. I bet it. Like, it's probably how they treat a nigga on, like, stand right here. Like, a nigga working on his, <coughs> working on how to truck a nigga. Like, you just standing there, nigga just trucking you. Standing your ass back, like they that's got the, dummies for that. They got that's the crazy part. Every team got four niggas on the practice squad that's supposed to be on the real squad. They got a nigga on the team can't nobody tackle. They keep the superstars away from this nigga. This nigga make eighteen thousand dollars a year. Run over everything, try to touch him on the practice squad. They'll never put him on the real squad because the nigga can't talk and he missing some side teeth. <laughs> So practice squad players, they definitely could smoke weed and do cocaine. Like they could do. If they, you don't drug test them. You shouldn't. Yeah. Why? Because they don't know what the fuck they dealing with. <laughs> you pulling up and your Tahoe need the oil change. <laughs> AB pulling up, turning down thirty million dollars. You know, a nigga tried to fight him. Fuck you, bro. I got kids. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Calm down. <laughs> Tore my leg up for this shit. You wanna be a nigga? 
Bro, calm down. And bro. you know AB sat out for a minute because his helmet. You remember that? Man. Bro, so you know, they probably tested new helmets that AB was going to wear on the practice squad niggas without helmets. Bro. Just to see. Like, this they the probably just tried practice squad shit. niggas. For him to be complaining about a helmet. It's clearly too late. The damage is already done. You, you, you. I don't think he wanted to play though, Los. Hey, that's the thing. Yeah. Well, just say that. Just <laughs> say that. I ain't fucking with this shit no more. <laughs> Cause now you fucking up the rest of the niggas behind right. you money. They're gonna be like, nah, don't give a nigga thirty million dollars. That's making they don't know crazy. how to act. Yeah, they don't know how to act when they get thirty million. Right. Now you fucking up the niggas behind you. Niggas gonna be twenty nine point nine. On the dot type right. shit. Bro, it's kind of fucked up watching the NFL, though, man. Like, now that you know how racist that shit is. Oh, yeah, most definitely. But Where no. the fuck they sell teams at? <laughs> oh, yeah, that shit don't be on offer up. Nothing. I ain't never seen that shit. You ain't on, never bro. seen nobody. Like, even when they say they about to sell the team, it ain't like yeah. motherfuckers had a chance to buy it. That shit don't be popping up where niggas could come together and buy that shit. Now, but AB be saying it's racist, but I know white people like, nigga, we can't even do that shit. You tripping. Man, it is racist for real, though. Yeah, it is, but AB was on some other shit. It went think about how racist football is, bro. Damn near everybody on the football field be white, be black, except for the quarterback. Yeah. And then they tell you the quarterback, the most important player on the team. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, why ain't no black quarterback? And guess, guess what they say, bro? You have to be smart to be a quarterback. Damn. That's why I root for all black quarterbacks. Shit, it ain't but three of them. I root for all three of them. <laughs> Bruh, when they getting rid of Matt Ryan? Man, don't even speak on that motherfucker. He making this whole city look bad. Bruh, it, it's certain people, they take up for Matt Ryan. Why? I don't know. Every year we go through the same shit. This motherfucker not interesting. He don't come do no, I don't, what? Why? Like the nigga don't do no, like even Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers white, but he got a little dance to, you know the, but that's the little what shit. Is there, the, yeah, huh? But see, that's what I'm saying. There is not oh, yeah. one thing that just, that it stands out about Matt Ryan. This motherfucker yeah. extra average. You know Julio probably. You know why they call him Matty Ice? Why? He's so cool. That means this nigga is do the same shit no matter what. That's not good. He has no improv skills. Like, like your quarterback gotta, you gotta look at your quarterback and be like, man. I believe in this motherfucker. Yeah. I don't believe in him. He won't cuss a motherfucker out. You he need won't. a quarterback to cuss a motherfucker out. Mm -mm. Muhammad Sanu is a better quarterback than Matt Ryan. That motherfucker got an arm. When they do that, all them reverses, I already go touchdown. I know it's. Gonna, I know they're gonna score. I, I like. I like Dak Prescott. At the Dallas, he a black quarterback. He went to Mississippi State. You fuck with that? You fuck with that? Yeah. I, you know, but in Mississippi State. I fuck with Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. <clears throat> the nigga Kodak Bop. With that he's going shit. Hey, that boy cold too, man. Oh yeah. And the other the young boy out of out of Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes. That motherfucker. Ain't that is unreal. Name? Yeah, that boy that, bad. That nigga throw he throw with different hands. Yeah. No yeah. look passes. Yeah, he, he like the young uh Brett Favre type shit. That's it's enough some, it's about sports. It's some we ain't never seen. It's enough about sports. Cause we still boycott. Exactly. Well not really. But we niggas, are, but we ain't. Yeah, niggas don't never like have a end and date. Like or no, no nigga ever come out and say, "All right, we through with it." You right. But they judge you if you're not through with it when they through with it. I just don't watch it a lot. Yeah. Sometimes I, you know, I flip, I flip through. If I wasn't watching this shit at all. Look, I would only recommend a service to my listeners that's been good to me. That's why my book is the right place. You bet, you win, you get paid. It's that simple. My bookie has live in-game betting on every NFL game. They got the most rewarding player points in the business. And for you fantasy guys out there, you can even bet the over-under on how many fantasy points a player will score in each game. It's a new season. Antonio Brown is with the Raiders. Le'Veon Bell is with the Jets. Odell Beckham is with Cleveland. But the one thing that hasn't changed is where I'm putting my money down on all the games. My bookie is the right place to bet football every weekend. My bookie has better bonuses, more prop bets than any other sports book, period. 
This year, they're hosting the first online handicapping super contest, and the first place is guaranteed $100,000, and it only costs $100 to enter. Double your first deposit up to $1,000. All you have to do is use the promo code 85 South Show to activate the offer. Visit my bookie online today. That's M Y B O O K I E. And don't forget to use the promo code 85 South Show when creating your account to activate the bonus. Bet, win, get paid. That's mybookie.com for all your sports betting needs. You fought with that basketball, though. Oh, yeah. Because they, they can't tell them basketball niggas what to do. Oh, hell they can't no. do nothing but give a nigga a tech, throw him out the game. But at that point, the nigga already done made his. Who your favorite basketball player? Right now? No, back, like growing up. Nigga, Michael Jordan. Yeah. That's still my, that's still the coldest nigga ever touch a basketball. Come on, somebody. <clears throat> this how good Michael Jordan was. That nigga made you believe you was good. <laughs> Think about that. He be like Mike. Nigga, you put on those joints, you feel like every time you shot that motherfucker, it was going in. Nigga, I ain't never put no joints on and ever thought about touching a basketball. For real? Nigga, I would never play no basketball <laughs> in no goddamn no, joint. You don't play basketball. Even in my black, even in my a grown blackness, I don't play ball in my joints. I'm dead ass serious when I put them J's on. Summer, look, you get a pair of shoes during the school year. Summertime, they play shoes. Nigga, that's when I go test them out. That's what you don't understand. That. See, they shoes. You see how you said shoes? Yeah. N no nigga in this room called they J's shoes. You got your shoes, then you got your J's. Los, I grew up during the time when niggas went collecting shoes. When you got your shoes. Bro, I was grown before I even knew niggas collected shoes. <laughs> so you ain't had J's as a child? Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you never played in them? Ever. Oh, well, you been, you been doing the shit before it became yeah. a trend. Hell yeah. I knew I was going to grow out the shoe, so why not? Why keep it? Mm-mm. Because everybody know you don't even play basketball in jail. That shit ain't what that's made Lose, for. I wasn't good anyway. Like, I know. You ain't never, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And that makes it worse. Like, that nigga out here fucking up them jays, and he ain't even good. <laughs> Look how he hey. dragging the bitch on the concrete. That's I, fucked up. He done scraped the toe off the mold. But I, I played defense. You know, every nigga who went good, they got good ass defense. I lock a nigga down. You should have had some converse on then. Because if that's the only strength in your game, you don't deserve no other brand. <laughs> nigga should have had some Ben Wallace's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga yeah. should have had on some of them Spreewell dubs <laughs> with the spinner on the side. <laughs> so, nigga playing 21. Nigga be on 20, and you got to go far back to shoot that damn shot. Nigga, you know, know you're going back to 15. You know what's, what's a hard reality to, to accept in your adulthood also? What that? That it's women that can beat you in basketball now. <laughs> oh, big fact. That's why I never play them. I'm talking about it's some women out here that do your ass dirty. Yeah, dog, man. That'll dog your ass. <laughs> For real, yeah. They will do you how you think you would do them. And then it's like. They for they dead ass for real about it. A girl showed me some of her little highlights from college. I was like, oh damn, you really yeah, was. Yeah, a girl showed me some of her highlights from college too. Guess what they was on? Oh. Motherfucking ESPN. They done won the championship and everything. Oh. Let me stop before I give out too much yeah, information. You, yeah, Los, you done hit another level. I was fucking with a little D three bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> her yeah. shit was on yeah, tape. Her shit never. She had a DVD yeah. of her highlights. Yeah, it was definitely a tape. <laughs> That uh, shit didn't even make Instagram. <laughs> you fucking with some. Well, we already know our different stop, levels. Hey man, yeah. stop, stop that. Yeah. <laughs> you know I what do. level I'm, I'm gonna go and say it because yeah. I wasn't never supposed to make it this. Let me hold on. I'm gonna hit the black for all my niggas in here. You know I try to stay in that six and a half, seven range. But see, know? that's what I'm saying. You gotta aim for a ten so you can get eight. Hell. Mm. I ain't think about it like that, though. If that's what you're not doing, you can't. Ain't nobody out your league because ain't no such thing as. My oh, league. I definitely not that. Nah, man. I just like to stay so fucking comfortable with them sevens. But the only thing that make a motherfucker a ten is that everybody already like them. Mm -hmm. They really ain't shit. Everybody want to hit them raw. Right. Not even knowing they terrible people too. Yeah. Whatever. Fine bitch can't even fuck. That me. Oh, okay. How you know?
That's how they be sometimes. They act so sound sedated. Bro, women so competitive, and they all like stick to their little group. Whatever group that they represent, they uh -huh. stick with it. Like the little Buddhist chicks be over here, then the big titty women be over here, then it be like, the, the big titty women, they don't like the big titty women who got big booties, but then the big titty women won't go over there with the little booty women, and then the big so women. So it's segregation. It's a lot of, it's a lot of segregation. <laughs> what you, what you think about the ass shot epidemic? I think it's dying down. I ain't really seen too much of that. I seen about. Or, or they I might only be saw about, I only saw about three, four new booties on my timeline this year. And anybody else? On average, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think women are starting to, they, they really understanding that buying an ass wasn't a good investment. Oh, hell no. Because they seen a few Hall of Famers who did the shit and killed the game. It's like, if you can't do it like that, then don't even do it. Like, who who would you put in the I don't even want to name fame. names. Because that ain't my business. But I'm saying Nicki Minaj, she Hall of Fame. No, right? she not. She not? She not. <laughs> Not because she don't have a great, her ass is, it's not a great ass. Damn. I mean, it's big, but yeah. it ain't really just like, it ain't, it ain't nothing you would, you can't live without. Plus, you done seen it so many times. You know it ain't that great. Big yeah. box booty. Damn. She got ass like a fine auntie. Now, I think she was just before her time. See, that's what I'm saying, though. It's like you start naming names and then people take that shit the wrong way. Because yeah. then if you say her, you got to name all these fake ass women. Yeah. And that don't mean that so they're not good women. So now discriminating against them. You, it's called body shaming. Oh. You body shaming. Damn. We won't do that over here. We all about positivity and embracing whatever shape, size, oh, color. Oh, of course. Of course. Right. Of course. Right. So, it is what it is, though. I don't care. I'm tired of trying to figure out if the ass and titties is real and fake and shit. And there's one thing, gotta always show you to stop asking for shit all the time. Cause you will do all of this shit and then you'll get what you want. And then it's not even what you want. Mm. She look good as hell with them clothes on. Titties was sitting up nice and shit. Then you get that bra. She done had a whole breast reduction. You can see where they had to cut the nipple off. The whole off. scar up under the shit. Titty all yeah. cut up. They had to reshape the nipple. Yeah, yeah. Big ass scar. Mm -hmm. Now you just. Now she got to explain it because she feel. Insecure. Yeah. She see you looking at it. Right, now you just standing there naked with a condom on. <laughs> trying to figure out how much this shit hurt when it, when it originally got done. Right, baby, I done put worse titties in my mouth. <laughs> like this, this the least of my words. Mm -mm. Women know when you don't like their titties because you don't suck them. You be like, <laughs> they out. <laughs> they out. I'm glad you brought them out. <laughs> you be looking at them like they didn't win a raffle. Be like, appreciate y'all coming out, titties. <laughs> you know we doing this again real soon. Y'all more than welcome. Stop through you, anytime. You, you get one of them like them white folks smirk. You know when they see you. <laughs> <laughs> That shit, bro, you ever quit fucking with a girl because you ain't like her titties? No. I am. But you, like, you, re I ain't you like really the examine them. Yeah, you really examine them. Like. like, I can't, I'm like, I'm not about to do this. Like, we went, I was in Cheetahs. Don't ask me why I was in there. Food good. Yeah, that's why I was in there. Okay. But they didn't have an areola in the whole club. Ain't no areola. It's just titty nipple. No areola. I was so mad. I wanted to speak to the manager. But the steak was so good, I was like, I'm gonna let this shit ride. Oh, yeah. I think, like, I realized, like, titties have a different taste to them with the culture shock. Like, I had sucked some white titties. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nigga. Where was you at sucking some white titties? I, I never, I never forget. Like, it, it just. <laughs> Nigga, you really own. You own, own. Nah. It, you out here sucking on white titties. When you start doing this shit? It tastes like avocado or something. When shit. did you like, start like, doing this shit now? I was like, ugh. Like, it died It's different. like some mayonnaise. Like it, <laughs> bro, have you just ever ate plain mayonnaise? Oh, this shit, this shit not good. Shut like up. Like it good on a turkey sandwich with the mustard and cut. Shut up, bro. But I'm just eating. I like, straight out the jar. Yeah, straight out the jar. Wow. That's a heart like, attack waiting to happen. If this how the tears taste, bitch, you can forget the hate. Oh, look. 
<laughs> you like you say you you done stop fucking with a girl because you ain't like her titties. Yeah. They a real nigga. You said you have it. So if you ain't like the titties, you just gonna put up with it. Who? You. Like I don't like it it wouldn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, it like bother if me. you didn't like them, you just like fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Bruh, how about when the girl trick you and you find out later on that she ain't really got no ass like that? Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. Them leggings will do it too. <laughs> oh, I how, how did I fall for this? Hey man, just saying. Hey, like, bitch, I'm from Atlanta. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm 30 years old. How the fuck did you treat me like this, bitch? Like you think I'm about to? I'ma leave all this ass out here and just fuck with you, bro. When your girl ain't got no ass, them arguments be long as fuck. Cause you not about to forgive her. Like no, nah, she ain't got no ass. She, she got to fully apologize. <laughs> she could do. She could do some small, Los. You, you going off? Man, hey man, what the fuck? <laughs> God, damn man, when the fuck you start buying this cereal? <laughs> I don't even eat cereal, Los. Be going all about stupid shit. So you got me blocked in. <laughs> fuck! Why you keep pointing behind me? <laughs> shit! You know I'm finna go. Petty. Petty. That's Shout crazy. You gotta you know have it. a light on when you brushing your teeth in the morning. Wow. She going to work. <laughs> hey, quit being so goddamn loud. Yeah. She the only one paying bills. You mad she waking you up. Man, will you sit your flat ass down? <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Which one is worse if your girl got a flat ass or she bald headed? Oh, flat ass. flat ass. Cause she could do sew ins all day. Yeah, flat ass. But you gonna you don't never get tired of looking at that shit. I won. That flat ass, it would irk me. It would. Oh, I'd be so fucking disgusted. <laughs> you just walk around with a flat ass and you got something to say. In an attitude. In an attitude. <laughs> the gall. Yeah. The nerve. The nerve. Wow. Wow. How my day, bitch? What you mean? <laughs> I'm alive, goddammit. <laughs> Asking me stupid questions. But if she she bald head, she got a soul. I can't control that. All right, let me that. ask you this. What's the worst shit you ever settled for? Uh, damn. Because everybody who, you got to settle for something. Yeah. No matter who you fuck with. Yeah, I don't settle for some shit. The worst, Clack, what's the worst shit you ever settled yeah. for? I don't set up for a lot of worse shit, Los. It get worse and worse, it seems like. <laughs> for real? You, you fuck what? with an ugly girl before? Wow. That's fucked up, though, because you don't know she ugly till you get something better to compare her to. <laughs> Nigga, your, par your parents really will let you know. No. Nigga, man, I start fucking with this little ugly bitch. I, I knew I was, I was struck on her. I was letting her sit in the living room. We watching TV. I was like, I like this little ugly bitch. Like, I, I started explaining it to her. I was like, she cool as fuck though. She smart. Like, she going, <coughs> she going to Georgia State. Like, all I have to say all that before. All this shit don't nobody before, give a fuck about. Yeah, before, I, before they make their own suggestion. I'm like, oh no, no, she going to Georgia State. Man. Damn. You know what I was thinking about to be the worst shit though is like, everybody got that. Like, you know how women will say, yeah, that shit don't count. Like when they talk about people that have sex, wouldn't yeah. you hate to find out that you the one that didn't count? I, I've been a couple don't counts though, and I damn yeah. I've been How a did couple it make you feel? Them. It didn't make me feel no type of way. It it was just a little weird and shocking how it came back. Damn. I was like, how she, he was like, oh yeah. She said y'all went to school together. I'm like, nigga, I fucked too, no? You know what I'm saying? I gotta get I gotta get more successful. Yeah. Because my whole well, goal. How she leave that out? Yeah, I gotta get more successful. Didn't you go to school, bitch? I fucked. Uh, -uh like you that. wasn't. You was present, but you yeah. wasn't. You like? Oh yeah, now nah, he was my classmate. Nah, bitch, I fucked. Like <laughs> she'll never. Why yeah. You, why you say that? I don't even think we had a class together. Like I, I fucked. <laughs> so you now you lying? Cause we ain't had no class together. <laughs> you don't count. So you though. just don't count me. You don't count. Yeah. <laughs> This bitch would rather say she took algebra with me than say I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we did the X three plus Y. Oh. Figure out X. But you we, ain't we no fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I That's what's damn, driving bitch. me to be most successful. I want to be the most you gotta successful. You got to be counted. The most successful person she ever the bitch fucked. Gotta Whether name she you. fuck with yeah. me or not. She always like, well, who the most is? Carlos? <laughs> I'm the most established nigga she ever gave some pussy to. I'm, that mean I'm the standard. Yeah. That mean even when she find a nigga who her husband, she going to be settling. Right. Like when your name come up and it don't even matter. Like, yeah, like, she get quiet. Uh, well, you might find out. Ooh. I used to fuck with Los. But the Bitch, thing I wasn't gonna never find out. Why you had to tell though. me that? Now she done fucked his confidence up. Now like, he looking at 85 South Show. Like I'm out here telling yeah. tell him, yeah, you know I used to fuck this girl who at Walmart cash in. Don't judge me. She about to get married. Look, like, now he watching the 85 South Show like this. I just think DC and Chico funny. Exactly. <laughs> not a nigga don't want to laugh at nothing. Now you ain't even favorite no more. Right. <laughs> Ladies, don't never tell your nigga. I'm your, don't stop. Stop. Uh, nobody will ever find out we fuck. I'm taking this shit to the grave. I ain't fuck nobody but my baby mama. Only reason I'm saying that is because we got the baby. Man, I got to get something off my chest. What? 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 It might come out. It ain't coming out. It ain't never. Don't worry. Me and Los used to kick it back. No. In the <laughs> she ain't never got to say that. But she going to say it. She ain't never got to say that. She want to say it. If I, hey, look, if it's anybody else. She I want had, that nigga to know. Nigga, I done, I done had better. Wow. I done did better. Then now, you. I'm settling. Right. <laughs> Fellas, don't. If you even think that I hit your girl, just let it go. I didn't. I did not hit. Let her lie to you, big dog. Bro, Don't go fishing for the answer. I ain't hit. And you niggas is weird out here investigating dicks that was there before you in the first place. What was, type of nigga? Was he better that? than me? Bro, that's suspect. When you asking your girl who she been fucking, why you worried about who she fucking you? That pussy clean? On, Do it smell good? How she make you feel? Come on, man. If you love that holding cup, or fuck what other niggas think. That's what Kevin Gay said. All right. Right that was, that was 21 head. Savage showed you. What that nigga had the slut walking all. He didn't give a fuck. You what know why? I'm, the only thing I'm mad about <laughs> missing the slut walk, bro. What? It was so many goddamn hoes out there. Oh yeah. yeah. Damn. Bro, the best woman. I'm 36. The best woman you can fuck with is a woman who used to be a hoe and got tired of that shit. She ready to release all oh that shit. Oh my god. She got all her Girl Scout badges. Mm -hmm. She know how to roll blunts. Drive a box, Chevy, suck dick, braid hair. <laughs> bitch, stay up to six in the morning. She can make jump cake. right up. What? Don't never fuck your order up. Uh -huh. Mm mm. Just all that dick residue be on them. Yeah. She she. Oh, I was asking she y'all about the settling hard. shit, bro. You ever fuck with a girl with four kids? Yeah, that shit is stressful. A little bit. I ain't, I hit a few times and I got the fuck out of there. She had four kids. Four kids, bro. She used to make that big pan of hamburger. <laughs> she had no choice. <laughs> I felt like one of the kids standing up there giving me some. Holy your butt. Well, by the time I get my shit together, it ain't but like two or three Hawaiian rolls left. God damn. <laughs> hey, the hamburger helper with the man. corn. Hamburger helper with corn. When she and the started rolls. fucking with me, she had to start getting two packs of rolls. Then want to ask me for some on the grocery because. You eating all this bread? Like, yeah, damn. No, I got the back, girl. Man, I got the quick Two dollar pack of Hawaiian rolls? Bro, it was, I, I miss them days, though. Taking out of Walmart and showing up, and them kids see all them cereal. <laughs> Mom, look, we got food. We got all this shit. Don't open all that cereal. <laughs> you just stuck. He ain't never looked up there and seen four boxes of new cereal at one time. <laughs> Apple Jack and Cookie Crisp. Honeycomb, like that, all that shit. All right, look, hamburger helper was one meal. What's another dish you'll bring out? You be like, yeah. You be oh. happy you pull up on this day. Ooh, anything fried. Oh, she, oh, she, she could fry the fuck out, son. <laughs> Bro, that chicken so pretty. You just, I'm talking about that chicken that you put man, on your. Shut the fuck you up. You know when man. that shit be on the stove, you put that shit on your Insta store. That shit look like she uh, bought it at Publix. Oh, Big I old pretty breast. I always wanted to eat that chicken off the Crisco, uh, Crisco grease. The can. Man, uh, that motherfucking chicken used to look like it was fried to perfection. It was. Damn. It was. That's what Who she fried did. that chicken, man? Bro, she know how to make that. Uh, she know how to make them chicken breasts with that good, that back meat with hang. Oh, that shit was soft. Where you could make a chicken sandwich out of it. It was, it was fine. She could cook. 
Motherfucker used to make a whole dinner with the cake. What? Like what? How y'all fall out? Like what was the break? We didn't point? fall out. What I'm just the... not doing all that. That's too many people. Every time we go somewhere, so... we seven, eight deep. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just y'all. I ain't going. I ain't doing. So all look, that. how did you just start? Like man, I gotta get out of this situation. Like you just start falling back. No, because you know I ain't the type of nigga that's gonna ask no bunch of questions. Like the more and more information start coming out, <laughs> four kids, three baby daddies. <laughs> Two abortion. Like, God damn, bitch, you been pregnant since you got out of here. Bitch, did you take a year off, man? What? No. <laughs> she didn't let that pussy right. Then the kids. But that's how you know it's good. The kids though. don't really get along because don't nobody really look alike. Yeah. One of them motherfuckers tall as hell. Somebody bald head. Little one girl daddy buy hair. her new stuff all the time. Yeah. She spoiled. The middle child daddy, he don't do nothing for him. So he just, one he mad at the whole house. Right. Don't touch his Xbox. Yeah. But he got his Xbox. Tell your daddy Two about Xboxes, you want. Yeah. one TV. He got to unplug his shit and plug his shit up. And get an hey, don't, don't be playing on my, my yeah. player. Like, man, god damn. They sleep with the light on and shit. Uh, Can't do that. Damn. Then she is her and her sister. She got four. Her sister got three. It's always. Laundry every goddamn well that it laundry ain't supposed to be. It oh, laundry. I guarantee garage. you was stepping on motherfuckers when you walked in. Oh my god. <laughs> then the sister always got a nigga over there looking crazy. Like, nigga, like he, he tries he nigga, wanna he try ain't some gonna be shit. here next week. Yeah. Like he wanna try some shit. Man. I done met a lot of crazy ass women, bro. Fine ass, emotionally unstable motherfuckers, sex as hell outside. Sit at the house and, and try to goddamn cut their thighs off and be crying and taking pills and shit. I'm about to kill myself. I just took a bunch of pills. What'd you take? I took like four aspirin. Bitch, you ain't finna. You not about to die. Bitch, you finna be thinking clear as a motherfucker. That's all, man. Why are you so dramatic? I'm about to try to kill myself. Why? You, you've done this four times. I'm not laughing at the, I'm not making light of the situation, but you know how fucking terrible you got to be to keep trying to kill yourself and not be successful? Yeah. You only about that life. You like gotta, how you wake up the next day and live with yourself after you tried to kill yourself? I got, oh shit, I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> Myself. That's your fucking business, girl. So you go to work. That's why I don't wear shorts because I cut myself. <laughs> you go to work six band aids old. Man. And want a motherfucker to ask you what happened. It's not funny. Well, <laughs> stop doing it. Stop doing it. I'm not finna goddamn nah, not. I'm not, I'm not gonna that. keep my comments to myself for some shit you won't stop doing. I, I hate that we live in this time where people lick. think that they can do shit and you can't say shit about it. Right. I'ma say what the fuck I want to say. I don't have to agree with your ass. Fuck out of here. I'm not calling somebody who got a dick a woman. I'm not. It's not happening. You got a dick, sir. She got quack. I don't give a fuck. That's real though. Y'all scared of them folk. Who? who? Them dudes who got dick pussy? Oh, no, not me. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, what you think about Malik Yoba? I don't think Yoba? of nothing. <laughs> I don't think of shit. That nigga nigga Malik Yoba got mad as fuck during the interview. Yoba. Fuck him. You know what? This one made me say fuck him. That nigga went on the breakfast club and they were like, so you like transsexual? This nigga said, I like people. <laughs> I like humans. I'm all about love and peace and humanity. I just love people. I'm like, nigga, you love dick. That's all it is to it. Hey, that's it Ain't no way around. I don't give a fuck about no money. That's your bid, bro. I don't care. But why you He still was great on New York Undercover? That was a good ass show. He you was great in that Tyler Perry he, movie. Which one? That one where he was the nigga. Oh. Uh, when he was fucking with Jill Scott. Get married. Uh, why did I get Why did I get married? Yeah. Why you know he fucked with Janet Jackson? No, he died. He messed with Janet Jackson. He died. It, yep. They ain't tell you the real reason. She found out. So the nigga drove off all real fast trying to go. The phone, he had lost his phone and she seen the video. Oh, uh, I seen the video. But this the thing though, I'm I'm grown. I don't give a fuck what Malik yeah. Yoba. Every time I ever seen Malik Yoba in some shit, he was good in it. You think I'm gonna stop? That's I'm, your preference. That's his preference. That's not my business. So that's his business. We can still fuck with him, right? We still, not. that's the wrong choice of words. We still can <laughs> support Malik. We, we pass on We that. can watch. The shit he's in. Right. We can watch the shit again. He just can't bring the hoes to nothing. 
at all. He, he can't be in charge that he shit. He can't never bring the hoes to <laughs> nothing. I got a couple hoes pulling No, you oh, can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you, you don't. can't ask him to let you borrow. No. <laughs> no. Hell no. Well, he has some of these new rappers. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, oh, shit. Rewind it. What he said? <laughs> he said he got oh. the dick with the nuts on it. <laughs> what I say, man? I don't. I don't know. So you got. You really got to be nonchalant out here, low. Like they, really? gonna, they gonna really gonna be asking you what's your take on a lot of shit. I'm gonna just tell. Them I don't. Have, but I re- like, I'm not sitting in the crib worried about shit. I be in my own world. But you see what I, you you caught what I said when I said fuck Malik Yo, but it wasn't like I was like oh fuck that. Man. Oh, oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, man, fuck, fuck that him, shit. Let him live a life. That's his right. business. Right. That's how you said. It. Right. That's his shit. So you got to clear because they'll cut that little part out. Bro, you'd be surprised who else out here fucking with them transsexuals. Shit. I don't like. I don't care to go find out. Bro. I don't. You. Yeah. That's the thing. When you find out, it ain't gonna be because you looking. Yeah. You like whoa damn. I done seen so many people doing questionable shit. Some of y'all favorite people out here is pulling up with the weirdos. Jumping out with the weirdos. The whole car full. You're like, man, what the fuck? It's just like, it, it ain't even shocking to the point where you're like, oh my God. It's, to, it's shocking to the point where you be like, man, what the fuck y'all got going on? <laughs> this shit look like a circus. You got a six foot three white bitch. I think three weirdos. I think. A four hundred thousand dollar car, nigga. You, you three turn. people jumped out of the car acting weird, and you gonna come over here asking me, man, what's going on? Hey, what the fuck you got going on? Nigga, I was gonna ask you that. Man, it's a lot of weird old shit going on. You'd yeah. be surprised. You turn into your what's auntie. You know on? how your auntie was like, mm mm. <laughs> she, she hit you with that. Mm mm. That mm mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't saying shit. When they get out of the car with that weird. Mm mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up now? <laughs> Shit. And just keep moving. And you just have to speak to the group yeah. so you don't offend nobody. Hey, how y'all doing, man? <laughs> hey, how everybody doing? Yeah. <laughs> nigga, you don't know who, who. I don't know. I don't want to say, what's up, fellas, or what's up, ladies. Say that. You hey. don't know who going to turn around. <laughs> what's up, fellas? Who said that? Yeah, hey. <laughs> well, everybody 6'3". I ain't know what hey, the fuck was going yeah. on. A lot of shit going on. <laughs> Whole lot of gang shit going on over there. <laughs> With the long dicks. <laughs> With the nuts on. <laughs> the extended nuts. <laughs> Man. Man. It is weird. To me. But it's, hey, if it's normal to you, that's yeah, your business. It's, like it's, it's being normalized. It is. I don't yeah, know. They, they making it like that on the cartoons and... Damn. This one thing they can't even just white Power Rangers no more, bro. This is the one thing we don't never have to worry about though. This is this the cold hard truth about it, nigga. We safe. Them dudes don't have no interest in us. We are not they type. Yeah. All this pussy on us. <coughs> they can smell it when they Damn. walk up. Ah, ah, that nigga. <laughs> You know how you just look, we look, we probably look at, they probably look at us like we look at studs, like he's just too far gone. <laughs> he too deep in the pussy game. Hey. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, it's just, I don't know how, how mouth watering pussy could be. Like, it just, like, I, I probably look like a little lion when I see bitches walk past. Like, I just be drooling, like, wow. she a hyena. You got to work on that. Oh no! You can't be I'm dead. just so ready and and scup. <laughs> I just cultivate at the chance to eat pussy. Wow, you cultivate yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Like bitch, I, I uh, when I start being built like a dyke, I start eating pussy like a dyke. Like wow. that wow. shit enhanced my skills. Wow. And no offense to any dyke. Stop but I, I, dykes, then. I, oh, that's the part they get mad <laughs> oh, about. <laughs> you put you talking? <laughs> You thought they was mad about the other shit? It's the label. Yeah. They don't well, like to be called my, dykes. Oh, what, what did it say? Uh, studs or... They, uh, no offense to any stud. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I'm learning a lot yeah. about the community. See, you helping me before I have to get a chance. Yeah, because I've been trying to get on the side of women who like women, too. Oh, Because I'm really just about to find me two, two bad chicks and leave And just settle down. Just settle down. 
I can I'm see out that the game. Most. But they both got to be equally bad. Though. You done had a good run, though. It, it ain't even about my run. I'm, I'm retiring early like Barry Sanders. <laughs> Just Dang. for the fuck Yeah, up. I'm done. It's all about my mental health at this point. Fuck the game. Damn. Because, you know, it's like I've done everything I can do in the game. I don't got shit else to prove. But, like, Barry was a cold nigga. I wanted him to win I'm the still ring. a cold nigga. I still give you the work. <laughs> But right now, it's all about, you know, just what making damn. my two happy. Long as me and mine is straight, we're not worried about what the streets got going on. But those leaving the game before, like, niggas don't even, like, that's how Brother, niggas talk you about You know how I'm like, looking at the game right now? Pussy, you and your prime. Pussy just like the new Jordans. They come out every week with some bullshit. Mm. Yeah, it's every, <clears throat> you ain't got to have all this shit. Some of them look all right. But the rest of them shits you can live without. It's just the same shit with different colors on it. <laughs> same goddamn shoe. You done bought that bitch four times. It's like, sometimes, it's like after you catch that nut, like, I went through all this shit for man. these seven minutes. That's how you, that's what I'm telling you. That's these how got, seven fucking minutes. Some pussy don't even make you happy. Mm. Like, watch out, man. You ever? <laughs> like, they, like, when they try, like, watch out, man. You ever had some pussy that wasn't fun? Sometimes. Huh? It just wasn't fun. Yeah, like it, it, you know, it, and you notice why you in there. Like, bro, this shit ain't need to move. But some, <laughs> you ever had some fun, pussy? Ain't that shit like being at your cousin's birthday party? <laughs> bro, that shit is. When you get some fun, pussy. Oh my god, you walk around naked, eating a hot pocket. <laughs> She laughing, you laughing. Making jokes, what? what? Y'all just having, y'all Y'all farting, y'all were just laying there farting on each other. <laughs> she being stupid right there with you. Babe, snort the coke off my titty. You acting like you're doing Tony Montana. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Pussy just fun. It's like going to Six Flags with the wristband. Uh, you get on, you just skipping for Skipping skip. line. Mm. She outside with the Zaxby's already. Oh man. Pulling up with fun pussy and food. She ain't make it a large and have an extra toast. With Shut up. Shit. I'm talking about y'all done fucked two hours ago, been up talking about stupid shit, listening to R. Kelly on Remember YouTube. Remember my old shit. Man. Mm. Mm. Come on. You ever used to go to the skating ring? Yeah, I ain't crazy. I never saw you. <laughs> <laughs> y'all wonder why y'all ain't been met, Los. Right. So you been staying on this side of town five years? <laughs> I always go to the pub. Shut the fuck up, Miss <laughs> Louise, your grandma, that's a candy lady. <laughs> Man, I, you know what's crazy as fuck? I seen your pictures when you was a little girl. That's crazy, she was right because she had to be right on before you get to the motherfucking Snickers and shit. This ain't nothing but God. It's got to be. Uh, this ain't nothing uh, but God. The pussy fun. Whew. Man. Man, I got to work, but I might just chill out here today. <laughs> I got a sick day. <laughs> I got two more comp day. I'm gonna use one for you and just in case somebody Nigga, die. That's how you know that pussy girl. Yeah. When you would go over there to get the pussy and spend the night and then have to drive all the way back across town in morning traffic. Shit. You sitting there and She and gotta go to work. You, you sitting wake there up at happy. eight o'clock traffic with no draws on. With the heat on but the window down. <laughs> Ain't that crazy how I, I, I get some pussy change your whole body temperature? Nigga, smiling. This is another thing I noticed about pussy, too. You ever notice when you have to drive to get some pussy, and then you're on your way home, how the fuck you know all the words to all the songs on the radio on the way home? You ever notice this shit? Every song that come on, you know the motherfucking words. It's like they got a, you just got some pussy playlist at the radio station. Hey, this one goes after my man Carlos Miller. I know you're coming down 85, headed down to that south side, my nigga. Just tore her ass up. Fat little booty, big titties, cute as hell. No kids, one bedroom apartment over there. All the way up there, North Cross, coming in. Man, you got a long ride, my brother. You've been riding for 25 minutes, got another. 35 minutes to go. <laughs> We're going to get into some of that new 85 self show at the top of the hour. I got some of that new Usher. Make sure you hit me up if you want those tickets to see Lil Baby, Gunna, and Young Jeezy <laughs> at the Lakewood Amphitheater featuring light skinned Keisha, Young Dro, hosted by my man, Shorty Shorty. <laughs> Young Jock, coming up, 6 o'clock. <laughs> In the morning, you done stayed up all night eating pussy <laughs> with your socks on. <laughs> it's fall, so it's a little chilly, but it's a little warm at the same time. By the time you get to the crib, <laughs> got to take that hoodie off. 
They doing the second day update. I got some uh, sucker titty mix coming up. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned. By the time you come out of Quick Trip, I'm getting a donut, cinnamon roll, orange juice, and that single black and mild to smoke on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Check the fluid in your lighter. <laughs> Might gotta buy a lighter. That'd be the worst, boy. When you're on your way to get some pussy and you notice know you need to stop and get some gas, that shit make you 45 minutes late. Cause you gotta go in the store and politics. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the number one? God damn. <laughs> I'm telling you, stay on them trips. That'd be the worst, bro. When you got the pussy lined up and you gotta stop and get some gas. You got all your snacks and shit ready. Ain't nobody behind the counter. You in the store by your goddamn self. Yo! <laughs> Man, I might just Man, steal these. Man, who the Oh, so sorry. How's anybody? Man, get your ass out that freezer, man. <laughs> fuck you doing back there in that freezer? I ain't even hear this nigga until I heard the glass. Clank, clank. Get your ass out that freezer. And shit worse, Logan, when she got a gate code. And that motherfucker ain't going through right away. And you gotta go around and come back and try to tailgate a motherfucker through the gate. Hey man. Nigga. Nigga, I almost lost my fucking passenger side mirror going to get some puss. But I didn't lose it. That I know this puss gonna be good as for Nigga. motherfucker. Nothing when you bad. Get through the gate. Ain't nowhere to park. Even the motherfuckers who live there is parked in the red and all this shit. In the reserve spot. Nigga. You will stop your car in the middle of the street and be like, man, I hope that motherfucker. <laughs> you shouldn't, they should have a section just for everybody who coming to the complex to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, Future residents, people that's fucking. And it need to be five, six spots, not no one or two. Yeah. So it more fucking spots than the future residents. Right. Spot. Yeah. So it's two future residents spot and it's six just coming to fuck spots. Right. It, but they don't, the visitors can't park in the just coming to fuck spots because you could get told. You need, yeah, yeah. exactly. You need if you told. find out you visiting and not fucking, you get your shit told. Bro, if she come over your house, you can go in your room and call the office and then tell the tow up car. I like the reporter. <laughs> yeah, somebody park in my spot. <laughs> But ain't that your guest spot? No, I don't got no guests. All my spots is for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they ask you when you sign your lease. You need guests visiting or you want nope. fucking spot? Just two fucking spots. Just two fucking spots. <laughs> we sitting on the couch. Bro, that'll, save, know. that'll save so much stress. Oh, she hit beep, beep, You ride by the club beep, and look beep. in the fucking section and ain't nobody in there. I ain't even going in that bitch. <laughs> Beep, beep, beep. Shot, you might want to check on your car. <laughs> oh, why are they towing me? Yeah, you parked. Shit. What spot you parked in? <laughs> fucking the visitor. I parked in the fucking. Ooh. <laughs> they don't play that. Yeah. You can't be coming over here parking yeah. in the wrong. They, ooh, they don't play yeah, that. Yeah, you bullshitting too long. Right. They give you a 20 minute goddamn. Uh, that visitor spot, yeah. you got to leave in an hour. <laughs> How long is the fucking? Oh, you can stay in that motherfucker all night. <laughs> but you gotta be fucking. You gotta be fucking. Is it any fucked up that you treat women? Do you treat women better when you fucking them or worse? It, it all depends. It depends on what she taking me through before I fuck. And, and that's, that's <laughs> that all make thing. all the sense in yeah, the world. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's certain shit. Sometimes a bitch can be so cool, you ain't even realize you ain't fucking. <laughs> That's the worst. Yeah. Like, why ain't never asked you for no pussy? Bitch, we ain't never fucked. <laughs> bitch, I done came over here about some time. We just been bonding and cooling. <laughs> bitch, I done friends on it myself. Oh my God. Let me grab that pussy right fast. You wow. just gotta grab it. Wow. You gotta show me the coochie first. That's why I wore this shirt. Oh, I'm all about consent. Los, I need one now. I gotta wear that to the parent me. <laughs> I wanna fuck. I wanna fuck my little girl teacher so bad. Wow, that did you fine? Huh? Like, you... What? And she always tagging me in some shit. School shout out to shit. the yeah, like shout out to our parent. Like I be going to that to the little memes and shit. You know? I bring them a couple boxes of little Caesar. You know that what twenty dollar four boxes. Go drop that shit out. I look like the best nigga in the goddamn school. They're like Mr. Green is now. 
<laughs> and don't mess with me for shit. Y'all get your pepperoni and a cheese. I ain't giving a shit about shit. There ain't number 18 folks in the class, four boxes of pizzas, a couple kids could get seconds. Mm. Mm. I brought her some, I had brought her some Chick fil A though. Yeah. Cause she don't like pork. So I had brought her some Chick fil A. Good daddy. She was like, how much I owe you? You don't owe me nothing. I'm gonna get the pussy. Yeah. Soon. That was something else, bro. Yeah. That was something else. Like, it, it makes the world go around, Lo. Women do stuff for pussy. They Even, do? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the stuff, the enhancements that we don't give a shit about. That's it what, don't make the pussy good, yeah. though. Oh, no. But we don't when know if the pussy good. When that we shit start water. falling off, that's when the pussy be good. <sighs> it's like having, I'm telling you, bro. Like well, when they lose her, the edges and stuff? Yeah, well, she need a hair done and shit. Oh, oh my God. She it's like the pussy be wetter. Oh, man. Like, if you ever notice, like, when your girl had not done, she make that little ponytail? I swear that ass be fatter. That ass is fatter when it hangs. I, I love when the bitch got one broke nail. Oh, my God. You like that? I know, I know, I know she finna go crazy on that dick. When she need a fill in? Yeah, when she need a little fill in. Wow. Paint chipping. Mm. Bitch, bring that good I don't really there. fuck with them chicks who just have, like, when the paint be chipping real bad and it just be like a little speck. Oh, she no. still. No. Oh, yeah. Any bitch who paint her own toenails, I do not fuck with them. Them the ones you need to fuck with. No, them bitches crazy. She got too much time to think about shit, because when she paint her toenail, she thinking about shit what she'll do. Wow. Well, you made a very valid point right Yeah. Now. Very valid point. Feet ain't done, but your toenails painted. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of shit going on in this world, though, bro. I'm telling you. A lot of shit. Times are changing. Yeah. These women are not like they used to be. Mm-hmm. It's been a hot girl summer. That means they've been giving us pussy and not calling us back. I don't like this shit. <laughs> These bitches heartless. Give me the old chicks back. Motherfuckers who gave a fuck. Bitch, cry on the phone with me. For real. I don't want to know if we need all that back, but bro, it's, it's, nah, at least let, I, I want to know you care about me, bitch. Mm-mm, they don't care. I heard you fucking Especially such these such. young bitches. These young bitches hardly. They'll quit fucking with you when shit good. Yeah. Y'all be in jail. You're like, shit, it was just good. They think it's a we good. We didn't fell out. They beat you to the point. They just threw fucking with you just, just off the. Be, no, young well, female. What happened? There ain't shit happened. It's just, they feel like it's a competition. I heard you fucking such and such. Man, who you heard? Don't worry, I'm finna fuck your brother. Hold up, bitch, wait a minute. Where that come from? They don't even do that, bro. You just see them with the new nigga and they just give you that stupid ass. You ever see like that, that dumb ass smile? With... <laughs> and all you see is, is a bunch of sub tweets. And she just... <laughs> Nigga, hey. was look, nigga was looking goofy hey, this today. This how you know. This how you know she <laughs> fucked up. When she see you and all the words is exaggerated. Hey, what you talking about? What? Don't start. Don't, Don't start. start. Why you always doing that? For real? Really? That's how you do me. Nigga, try to be wow. cool. Nah, Shadi, you got it. You wow. Got it. I see, nah, I ain't gonna, I don't want your nigga, no nigga still to get the same. mad. I got something I need to ask you. Soon they tell you, you know you tried me today, no. <laughs> nigga, you didn't want me. Nigga be fly as hell on that tech, man. Oh, man. See, that's why I don't fuck with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you talking about? You stupid, you know you my boo. Whatever. So you gonna come over here or what? Bruh, it's crazy how we ain't never fucked with the same women and all been told the same shit. Yeah. It like they gotta they gotta handle. To the point where it's like if I'm talking to a woman, whether on the phone or text or anything, and she say anything about her homegirl, that's the cold word. If she say, okay, but my homegirl, that anything followed by that is some bullshit. <laughs> I'm about to come over there, but I gotta drop my own girl. Bullshit. Yeah. She not coming, bro. Automatically. Automatic. And she gonna blame it on her homegirl. Now you hate her homegirl and her homegirl ain't got shit to do with it. Her homegirl ain't even know what y'all was talking yeah. about. <laughs> oh, she never even told her homegirl about you. <laughs> what you doing Thursday? We can link up 
but I gotta go buy my home girl <laughs> house first because she's supposed to do my hair. Bullshit! I'm telling you, man, this ain't what I heard. This is what I know. You know. All facts, bro. Bitch, be wanna investigate, be detectives. Then what kind of bitch you like? This what kind of. Yes. Yes. I like that. <laughs> Don't screenshot me some shit you done seen me like. Yes. Me my name on them. Yeah, that bitch is naked. It's safe. I love it. Carlos and 400 other <laughs> niggas like this yeah, shit. Yeah, I ain't the only one. I like how bold Instagram got. You ain't gotta ask me. <laughs> you see my name pop up. You need to be mad at me and 14,000 other people. Because what the fuck they got to do? If you think that's so. Clearly this is some popular shit. If you press lower more comments, you really going to have a fit. Right. Because I love some shit. It be the same women who ain't uploaded no pictures in six months trying to ask you what you like. <laughs> your, your page private and your pictures blurry. Fuck, don't you ask me mean shit. mean posting, bitch. You don't shut the fuck up and leave me alone. All you do is post memes. Old ones, too, from 2010. Damn. Quoting Drake lyrics on nothing was the same. Bitch, he done dropped three hours. Talking about don't be out here making you look stupid and you on here calling Lil Wayne your baby daddy. Mm. Wow. You fuck a fucking clown. Yeah. The game fucked up, man. Wow. What's the little what's the nigga name that killed his homeboy? Uh why why the melee. The melee. I know you saying. He that. killed his homeboy. They said that nigga one girl has had over made this 700 nigga. songs. Made, one girl made him her, her man crush. I unfollowed him. Got to. Mm -hmm. That killed me. Yeah, I see what type of shit Get you it? Wrong. It killed me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> he got over 700 songs. They said when he gets out, he ready to release them. But I don't know. think nobody broke the news to him. I don't want to hear 699 of them. Yeah. I, mm. That one song guy, it just one? fucked up that it's true. Yeah. Sometimes I wake up and I'll sing that shit. But it ain't in real life. I apply it to some shit to like an inanimate object. He a bold motherfucker. For real, for real. A lot of these niggas been getting locked up going to jail, man. Forever. They never getting out. And they too young to understand what that mean. Bro. Murder is, you get a murder charge, that's over with. A weekend. Fuck me up. And then they don't even understand the shit that they be saying when they catch these. Yeah, I just beat a murder. Nigga, if you beat a murder, that means you did the shit. <laughs> they just didn't have enough evidence. Stop saying you beat a murder, nigga. Say you, you beat the charges. Like, these niggas really willing to do all that time. Nigga, I did one weekend, and I, you know how they come around. I asked the lady, I asked her, I was like, please, can you tell me what time it is? She was like, 2.30. I said, in the morning? I said, I ain't gonna make it. Nigga, I just knew I had slept a day away. That's the, probably the worst time to go to jail in the morning. You know, I went to jail early in the morning one time and was in that bitch till early in the morning. But it was 24 hours, but it felt like it was four goddamn oh, days. Yeah, I know. And you know how like jail work, like morning jail, then afternoon you jail. You done seen three I shift Woo! I thought I was in that bitch for about a week. <laughs> I was riding home like I ain't even know the way. <laughs> Nigga, that Walmart always been over there. Is that Wendy's new? No. Stop by that Wendy's, man. Let me try them new nuggets. You ain't even got no paper to write letters yet. Like, you just sitting in there like. The crazy part is, uh, it took after I made bail, though, it took me six hours to still get out. Yeah. You done talk to your folks. You know everything worked. Like, how long it take to process? Nigga. I hope I ain't never on that side of Oh, that nigga, I know I'd never be on that. Nigga, I'm copying other niggas. Because this is my first time in there. They were like, man, I'm ready to leave the holding the tank. Take me to the floor. I'm, now I'm mocking these niggas. I, I get on the floor. Man, take me back to the holding tank. Take me what back the to the holding tank. what you niggas tank, wanted? <laughs> take me back Those to niggas the holding tank. Niggas wanted to land Nigga, when, you down, when you downstairs. They got the phone, you can just pick up yeah. and call everybody. Then you go upstairs, nigga. You need commissary. These niggas trying to fuck and everything. Like, nigga, help me. Don't leave me in that bit. Nigga, the lingo, the lingo so crazy. I'm telling them, like, look, I don't need to be in there. Right, Y'all, I mean, look, don't put me in there with the murderers and shit. Nigga, they put me in the cell with a young nigga who had an armed robbery and a kidnapping charge. His sentence was 45 years. He in, he in the cell with me because he got to go to court in the morning. To get some more time. I'm thinking to myself, shit, he ain't gonna do that. 
He ain't gonna do the first 45 they gave him. Nigga. Fuck I'm supposed to do in here. He kidnapped people. They gonna put me in the cell with him. Now he, what if he think I'm one of his victims? Right. What if you say the wrong thing, breathe the wrong way? He in the gang or shit. I don't know nothing about this shit. Yeah. He asks you a question, you don't answer it right. Now I gotta fight 11 of these niggas. Right. 60 days in. Whatever. Welcome back to another episode of the 85 South Show. We about to get the fuck out of here. This has been another. Man, it been, I had I had a good time. Splendid, magnificent, superfluous episode. You always enlighten me on certain things, Los, that you know. I'm gonna go and drop this on you then. 2020 coming up, bro. I don't know what you've been doing in your personal life, but I know what you haven't been doing. You gotta start sucking the titties longer now. However much time you think you're putting in on the titties, increase it. Start off small. Add an extra two minutes per titty. See, I'm a type of nigga, I can take constructive criticism. I ain't gonna tell you lows now, hey, but this, hey. I ain't making no excuse. You hey. right. Fuck it. Hey, I ain't trying to preach to you. I'm trying to reach to you. Uh. It's been reached. Yeah. What else you got coming up? Drop your social media. That's always fun. Yeah, always fun, man. Y'all, make sure you follow me on Instagram, man. Twitter, Christian Mingo, I'm on all that shit. Right, you're still on Black Planet too, right? Hell yeah, MySpace, Nav Green, same name on everything. <clears throat> Christian Mingo be jumping like a motherfucker. Make sure you go hit my my new website, quittouchingish.com. Get you a cool ass shirt like this. Quit touching ish. I S H. I was gonna put shit, but I didn't want actual shit to come up when you Google it. <laughs> so you can get variations of this shirt on my website. I don't think I put this design up, but I do have one. The same message. My name is Carlos Miller, and I am seeking consent. That's the new movement. Don't make Niggas me. Niggas can't bootleg your shirts no more. That's my whole movement now. I don't want. I don't want to ask for consent. Just give it to me. I need you to want me to have this pussy as bad as I want it. And if it's not there, then I can't live like that. Help me understand. What's so going. I don't need Especially to Especially with guess. all these allegations going on, you need to give me some kind of inkling that this is about to happen. You got to take your own panties off, first of all. You got to show me both titties individually and as a set. And before I get the pussy, I make her send me a text message right before to let me know just because you need all your shit in order. I've registered a vehicle before. I know that you always need more than one piece of paperwork. So saying, you can't go to court talking about some she said shit. Yeah. Because these women trick your ass now. They'll give you the pussy and then try to extort you and then say you took it if you didn't, mm. if you don't take the. So you wanted to catch you off guard. Oh shit, you trying to fuck. Okay. Right, for free. Yeah. Can't leave that part out. Right. That's, that's, don't that's try, the key component. Right. Don't give me some free pussy then charge me for yeah, it. Yeah, charge me for it. If you're selling later. the pussy, you need to be up front. So then it's my choice Whether that I they want to buy it or not. Yeah. And now we, we could go through the negotiations. Exactly. Set. I might be able to talk you down. Uh, so you say you want 80? I don't Where got Where you but, stay at? I don't got but 60 on me. How many kids you got? I can do 50. It's always room to negotiate. Yeah, it's I'm always negotiate. Right. So just to avoid all of that type of shit. Just yeah. show me the coochie first. Just let me see it. Let me, Cause even when you selling cocaine, bro, all the movies, what they always do. They, they let, always open the briefcase. Yeah, dope right there. They let you sell. They let you see it. Yeah. That's pure. That's pure right there. Yeah. I'll take it. So you think we should be able to sample the pussy like that? If she wants you to have it. If she wants you to have it. But if, I'm not saying, if you, got, if you ain't put the time in and you not even up for consideration. Oh, yeah. But all that whole sitting through two, three hours of Netflix and shit and me trying to guess when I can rip on the pussy, that shit dead. No. If it's about to happen, just undo the first button or something. Zip, let me, give me what I need. Give me me. I have an attitude, Los. When they trying to find the move, I mean, I already seen that. I seen that, son. Wow. So I'm on that type of shit, so you know I ain't come over with a white bitch. I got my own television. 
I it's got not two about more. watching it, bro. Sometimes you just need something in the background. You gotta set. Cause she don't be one. This is what I like to do. I like to pull out my man. You ever seen this video? I'm showing them shit on YouTube. This, this type of shit. Yeah, YouTube. Then she oh, gonna yeah. see you saying that on here and know that you try. I love when a bitch be like, you 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 watched 85 Side Show? I'm like I done been on there a couple don't times. Don't stop saying it. Don't wait. Don't you gotta wait a little bit. Nah, like, just wait till she I going through. I be too through, impatient. You gotta like, wait till she going through the episodes and be like, damn. That, all oh, they do guys still got my shit up there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say I gotta redo right out, right out the yeah, gate. Right yeah, that's my, my part of them. No, yeah. relax, nigga. You watch Native Fight Show? Yeah, yeah. I've been on there a couple times. Stop lying. Hey, man, I you can't even watch Wildin' Out in Peace. I'm at the crib watching old episodes because I got memories and shit. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker gonna look at me and say, so that's what you do? Just sit here and just watch yourself on TV? Oh, man. You already sound get, like uh, a hater, bitch. That's exactly what I like. Yeah. Hater. Hey, uh, what show you was on? Yeah, I'm going to get this little pussy. You're going to get the yeah, fuck you out. You're going to get the fuck You're not even welcome no more. Yeah. Dirty yeah. feet ass. This your last time, bitch. Boy. To say you was able to watch Wildin' Out with me while I was on Wildin' wow. Out. Wow. Ungrateful. My boy going to try to not give me some pussy one time while Wildin' Out on. I'm going to go. You got me yeah. fucked up. I'm the nigga of your dream. You ain't never had a nigga on your TV and on your couch at the same time. The same but you supposed to be butt time. naked right now. Right now. It don't appreciate nothing no more. <laughs> like you just, like you been fucking with niggas on TV. Girl, if you don't give me my flowers right now. Yeah. Your last. When the last time a TV nigga been over this little bit of ass apartment? Your last nigga work at a warehouse. Come on now. Third shift. <laughs> that nigga not even the fart lift driver. He not even the manager. Yeah. This nigga is the box opener. Like, he do the cutting of the box. Ma'am. Bitch, you better. Ma'am. Hey, you better tighten the fuck up. You man. mean to tell me you treat, this nigga make $4,000 a money, you treat him better than me? Girl, if you, what's the, your life the whole like? Month? What? Shit. Don't let the nigga be on child support. Oh, this nigga <laughs> mad. And he, and he hot about he 300 mad. a month. He mad. 300 a month. I can't even enjoy my man, chick. God damn, man. <laughs> the motherfucker that took 400 and something dollars out of my chick. That's all? It's a fucking baby. On, I wish the motherfuckers took 400 dollars out of my chick. Complaining ass nigga. Do you know a nigga asked my baby mama why she ain't got me on child support? Hey, and that's why the first 48 is a real thing. <laughs> I cussed her out. I said, bitch, why would you ask me that? <laughs> That a nigga told you that. How I feel about it. What you think? She was like, nah, I cussed his ass out. All right, good shit. <laughs> For real. Damn. In a minute, I'm all at you. <laughs> <laughs> Check your cash out. <laughs> just send a little some shit so you just know I appreciate you. Mm -mm. For getting right with that nigga. He mad because he on child support. Right. Ask my baby, how much you get from him? Nothing. Oh, he got it good. Bitch, I got it like a dad. Mm. Child support. Game fucked up. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. And the funny part is, motherfuckers really be on that shit like, man. Mm. <laughs> That's how you living? You trying to have a child support, baby? <laughs> <clears throat> Ma'am, your pussy is a sewer, if that's the case. The Ninja Turtles living there. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we've been all around the world and back. Raphael. My name is still Carlos Miller, one of the coldest niggas to ever walk on two feet. And if you don't believe me, watch some footage of me walking. Nigga, I walk like a small Bigfoot. I don't know what the fuck wrong with me. I didn't know I walked so funny until I watched the video the other day. I was walking to the stage and I was like, Neanderthal walking ass nigga. Why your arms so long? All right, man. That shit funky. We'll see you motherfuckers in a minute. Just know that the first leg of the tour is down. There's gonna be at least two legs, but we might get freaky and make it three. Mm. Hit him with that third leg. With the, with, with the balls. Mm. <laughs> that, hell yeah. <laughs> Hit him on that third leg of the tour with the dick with the nuts on it. Low before I go, I can say one thing. Yeah, yeah. I know you watching because you love this show, bitch. This is another episode. Ha! <laughs> ah. ah. Man, we're going to make you the whole goddamn... Bring me that pussy now. Don't play with me. Hey. Let's Talk. watch this one together. <laughs> <laughs>
To all the ladies out there who don't be thinking Nav Green is on the 85 South Shore, you are absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> don't get this nigga no pussy. Fuck him. Make that nigga work. But if you do decide to give it to him, show him the culture first. Damn. You know why I came over here. Don't make me play. Help me. It's teamwork now. Teamwork. I like a man that's aggressive. Well, help me. Put your hand on the other side of him. I'm going to get the shirt low. I want you to get some sweatpants with that shit on it, too. Though you know I got the sweats already on, in, in uh, process. What, they, right they got coochie on the side? Or like... Ooh. Ooh. That'll That's be another cool. line I'm starting. They got Gucci. I'm about to start Coochie. <laughs> coochie. I just want 3% Los Cut. It like you ain't we, getting no No, I'm just saying like we came up no, with this shit at the same no time three. together. You ain't getting no I, Well, three. if I see some sweatpants, I'm suing you. Yeah. All right, bet. Oh, you sweatpants, nigga, gonna be a whole line. <laughs> I'm about to go for the Gucci logo and everything. I'm getting some new colors. Coochie. What's the colors? Red, black, and green? Nah, sw- switch it up. I'm going to switch it. All right, we'll talk about it. All right, that so coochie coming, though. I want a coochie hat <laughs> with the coochie shoes to match. <laughs> coochie guess, draw. Guess what my slogan going to be? <laughs> what? Coochie down to the socks. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but on some real shit, though, I'm for real. I'm going to do a line. I'm going to do a little line. <laughs> Of this coochie, yeah, we gonna be a little. Uh, I'm gonna do it under the quit touch it uh, ish, oh. but it's gonna be like I'm gonna do like three jogging suits. I ain't don't think uh, this shit gonna be high too. It need to be limited. That's what I'm saying. It's oh, gonna okay. be high. Yeah, a whole coochie sweatsuit. Yeah, that's gonna rain. I'm gonna make it high on purpose, so a lot of people won't have to buy it. Right. It's gonna be high because I seen what they spent on Gucci. Mm-hmm. This shit gonna be high. The average consumer ain't gonna be able to afford and it. And Los, put one of your quotes on the tag of the shirt, like. On these bitches. Yeah. Broke niggas can't stand this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gotta be on you, not in you. Coochie. <laughs> <laughs> Just had a coochie t shirt. This shit ain't cheap. This coochie. <laughs> Let me stop, because all these I'm saying, I got to make these. You know niggas already be stealing your idea, Los. They that's already so, re-stealing your bro, shirt. Bro, that's so lame. And, bro, somebody going to beat you to the butt. I know. I don't know who told that 85% of it was cool to bootleg guys' shirts. One lady had on a shirt that somebody else made and said, I ordered this bitch. Where the fuck is they selling the knockoff edit? Because I want one. Man, I see. Hey, this the new rule. If you make a shirt, you got to make me one, too. Give me, I need a medium. She gon' need a medium and DC need a small. What size you want? Shit. Uh, you gon' look at this large. shirt like you don't know. Nigga large. need a 2X. Yeah, give me a 2X. Nigga need a 2X, man. And you, you making the shirt, make me one. God damn it. Lowe's. Joe's, Some of them shirts been colder than the one I had. Joe seen somebody with an 85 South show. He complimented. He was like, cool shirt. Like, yeah, we like, always do that. I was like, you support? He was like, yeah. no, we don't, we, don't, that, we don't have those. We don't. I was like, damn, but the shit looked so official. Was Bro, we got it's so much 85 South Show merchandise out there. We need everybody to send us a picture so we can do a little uh, photo, like a photo exhibit of all the fan art, clothes, shit that people made that say 85 South Show on. After the making show, I seen a nigga set. You had, y'all had y'all merch table? He had his own shit. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, bought some of them sweats that he had, but the, you know how the inside be with the little limb balls? They yeah. kept coming off. <laughs> hey, man, we're going to throw some, we got to make sure we throw a dope-ass link on the end of this bitch, man, so they can go so they can hit all the websites and get the merch. 85 South Show, 85 Apparel, 85 Media, quittouchingish.com. DC done dropped the Fuck You Mean clothing. Chico got the cheat code clothing coming out. All types of shit. Y'all still fucking with City Dream? I don't know. I mean, oh. I mean, we fuck with him, but we ain't. Yeah, we ain't, I know, I know. Yeah, we ain't but I remember no, last time we I ain't re up and getting no check. Yeah, man. I was just and since last I didn't, time I didn't, did, I didn't even post all the posts that I was supposed to yeah, post. Yeah, that that's why I was asking the follow up. So I ain't never that. even get the check. So okay. all of that shit I did for City Dream was free. L- yeah, let me quit touching shit. I, I, yeah, I mean, I was about two posts away from actually getting the check, but then <laughs> some. Uh, Something was just like, I don't know. 
I got busy as fuck. And they kept, they was like, come on, can you post some shit today? I was like, I don't have no city trends to post. And then they didn't understand, like, some places that I travel in my comedy, they don't have city trends like that. Yeah. So it was like, they thought I was bullshitting, but I'm like, I really am on the road for two weeks and I ain't been past no city trends. Damn, I'm in the Midwest, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I got all kind of shit. Bluechew.com and go get you some. Now they fuck with me hard. You get it? Fucks with me hard. Y'all yeah. <laughs> still fucking with the Bro, I done probably sold good. about 10,000 Blue Chew pills. For real. For real. Niggas is buying that shit. Look, look, that shit work. Yes! Make your dick harder than a calculus test. <laughs> dick was so hard, I ain't even fuck one night. Now, I just pulled it out and beat a bitch up with it. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who knows what a mushroom stamp is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the show. I want to end right there on mushroom stamp. My name is and was and still is Carlos Miller. I will see you lovely motherfuckers on the other side of the rainbow. This is the 85 South Show and we will see you soon. Hey man, and don't let nobody put no bump on your funk. Keep your funk bumped up. That's a good trap episode, JoJo.